Hey, how's it going everyone? Jigsaw Killer here. This is a guide for Resident Evil 4 Remake on how to get a S plus rank on professional difficulty. Uh, so you do need to, in order to get an S plus rank, you do need to play a new game. Um, the requirements is to beat the game under 5 hours and 30 minutes and within 15 saves only. Uh, so we're doing this run on completely new game. I won't be using any new game plus items or anything like that. I won't be using any like uh, stuff like you know the armor for Ashley, which you can do. You can use. Uh, I do recommend using that. But I'm just, I'm just doing this because it's just a choice thing. But if you do want to make this this anyway, uh, mode easier, I do recommend uh, using Ashley's armor. That'll actually make it a lot easier. Um, so same as you can use the uh, Sh Chicago typewriter and all that. Oh, good. Just you'll have to upgrade it, you know, within the run. So I would actually recommend um, going for that and then getting the exclusive upgrade, which I think you'll probably get by probably the, the beginning of the castle, maybe. What was that? But uh, anyway, first enemy here. We're just gonna run up to the corner there and run back. And after he does the second lunge, we're just gonna like run past them. The thing to point out with that, with those guys, is that um, they're the whole time that they're running for you, they're, they won't enter like a grab animation. So, so just know there is like a big window of when you can run it, run around them, whatever. So they're actually quite easy to run around once you like, you know, get the idea of how to get around them. But uh, yeah, they're, like I said, they're pretty easy to get around. W one thing as well to point out is that there is a heavy amount of RNG in this game. Randomness, I should say. So, you know, there's going to be random loops. So it's the, this barrel, that barrel is always hanging ammo. But I'm pretty sure that the bird and that barrel there are random. Same as this bird here. Uh, but really, it actually really should not matter what I get here. Like... We just got, I just got Ruby here. That's that's really rare. But uh, like I said, it shouldn't actually matter. Like hook run, you should be like fine to just uh, you know, open all the barrels that I'm opening and yeah, like I won't like affect the run for you if you don't get what I get. Um, so coming up to the village section here. Uh, there is a hut we just ran by there. There is a flash grenade. Uh. A red herb and hanging them out there which i would do actually re recommend getting if you're comfortable with doing that and if so uh make sure you do not go to where we're going to right now I if you do go into that hut make sure you go right to the to this villager we're about to run up to it and stealth kill uh because you don't want to like run up the hut right away if you're like running the whole time because the enemies do move around in the when you're in the previous area so so only go for that herb if you haven't uh, gone into that hut. Just a, it's a little thing to point out because one of the villagers will see it if you run to the, you know, to the spot where we just ran to right now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start off by going right to here. We're gonna grab this uh, hanger in here, run back out, and then we're just gonna pick off these villagers here. The basic idea of what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna shoot and pick off these guys and get as many kills as we can before we go into the to the main cabin to where you know we trigger the salvador and so on uh so the village section is both uh based on time and kills you need to get you need to get like 15 16 kills to uh you know end it as quickly as possible and at the same time it isn't a timer but it's it takes a long time to to end so you really are just best off going for the kills. But at the same time, there will be a lot of time you'll have left over once you go through this game if you're following this guide. But regardless, like I said, just uh, kind of follow what I'm doing there. Picking off the enemies, just getting as many shots as possible. Kind of like going to that fence and jumping over. And once you get to this point here, the, the village is usually empty because they're all gone around to chase you. I'd recommend waiting a little bit before you enter the cabin just so the villagers can catch up to you. And uh, once you enter here, make sure you like do the, 
the you know aiming with the the knife L1, just so you'll open the barrel the barrels quicker. So once you appear, grab the shotgun and the grenade. Equip the uh, the shotgun here. Get ready to if a villager is climbing up the ladder at that point, just uh, shoot them off if there is if they are there. I want you to go here. You gotta look out and see if there's like a group of them together. Throw a grenade, and then after this, just shoot whatever villager is beside you right now. Don't, don't jump down. Stay. If there's a village here, just shoot one out of the way, and then uh, go around this uh, cabin here. There's a velvet we can get here. There is many ways to do this village section. This is just the, the choice that I'm going with, so... If you're comfortable with doing the other... Like, there's a lot, there's a bunch of, like, speedrun strats that you can do with this, but... It, it, even the speedrun strats are not consistent. So, r right now, I'm just trying to bait them around to try to get them grouped up. This is kind of a uh, bit of a bad throw. The grenade like landed behind the the stone and kind of like blocked the explosion from pr probably the rest of them maybe because I, I think I probably probably only got about two or three kills there. But uh, once you do that, go back around here. Just stats. It's a good idea to go go to the back there because it takes it will just waste a little bit of time and to keep the uh, Salvador away from you. And at this point, I'm going to go to this ladder here just so I can pick off the enemies. Just so they can't get to me as quickly, especially the Salvador. Uh, I, I would recommend uh, using the shotgun until you have about like about three shots left or so. Because it really, at, at the same time, it really doesn't actually matter too much if you if you do waste all the ammo. Because the game, the game will give, it, give you the ammo back, so... But uh, yeah, that's the uh, village action. I want you to hear the bell just there. Uh, immediately, the second you hear the bell, just immediately look around for Lou for the bell rings, just so we can save a bit of time. And yeah, once we're uh, on this part, just uh, look around for any remaining Lou. So at this point, we are just going to go to the tower here to get the the herb from. From uh, up above. Like I was saying before, there is a bunch of strats um, that you can do for this part. If this, you know, there's a strat where you can like kind of stay up in the tower there and stick to the ladder, which can be a bit risky because let's say the Salvador gets up to you and then you're trapped and you have to jump down and then you're getting grouped up by the enemies. There's little things like that. Uh, there is also another herb that you can get to, you know, when you're exiting the tower to your left. There is another there is another herb there, but I recommend leaving that to later because we will uh, go through there w once we rescue Ashley and go back through the village again. We will be making our way through there, so I recommend just waiting until then to get it. But if you want to get the herb as well, it's fine. But yeah, once we go through this little village section, we're going to run up to this guy and stealth kill him. He's usually looking away. If for whatever reason he's not, just pick him off with the handgun, shoot him in the face. And uh, here you want to wait until the this thing here is at the right side, just so it doesn't fall into the into the dirty water. And uh, we're gonna collect all the medallions here, same as you want to go to the back here. That uh, barrel always drops a grenade, so make sure to get that. Yeah, there's one with a pitchfork here. There's a little heat. There's a little thing with the pitchfork enemies. Um, when they're like lunging at you like that, you can always stagger them if you shoot them when they're charging for you. But you don't want to shoot too early because it won't stagger them then. But like you, you can just spam the shots on, on them regardless. But it's, it's something to keep in mind for. It might like save you a hit like later on. Uh, yeah, just get these boxes here, get the other medallion, get the herb here, and here's the final medallion as well. Here we go. Uh, so coming up here, we're gonna sh you can uh, enter the spot here by shooting the lock. 
this is actually yeah, pretty consistent if you, if you haven't tried this before but just look at where I'm like shooting here and just uh, go through um, so you have a choice here you can collect everything here and then go back or you can climb up the ladder there it's, it's up to you where you want to go it doesn't really matter too much uh, but we're gonna actually collect everything and go back here and go around this way but you you can climb up the ladder too if you want so it's, it's, that really is just a, a choice for what you want to do. Make sure not to disarm that. You want the villagers to run into it. Get the yellow herb here. There's more shotgun ammo here. Just put the cogwheel on here. And at this point we're just going to uh, run around here to this other spot. It's going to be a more loot we can get here and this will like conveniently lead us out of the area as well so once you're going here get ready to like grab this and then knife the uh, the lock on the door and quickly turn as well so you can like knife the door and then quickly knife the uh, barrels I, I, I recommend from here just running the whole way just to decrease the chance that the villagers uh, catch, up, catch up to you here because they can they can they can run like the whole way here and they can actually kill you so i've i've gotten one hit killed by the the cowhead guy when he uh, caught up to me here and conveniently you know did his one hit kill attack and hit me exactly after uh, the eye you, you do have eye frames when you're moving that but he hit me exactly when the eye frames uh, ended so okay from here there's going to be a little pathway we can go to the right here. And come up here, there's a pitchfork enemy. You can either shoot her or if you kind of like run to the hard right, like just stick to the right wall and run, you'll be able to just run, run through her as well. That's something I didn't uh, discover until later on. But yeah, just, just literally stick to the right wall and just run and you'll be able to run around her. And uh, the last uh, section here. We're going to go into the little hut to the left here. We're going to disarm the, the bomb the wall. Get the two uh, boxes. Open them. And then we will... Sh I think we're going to either knife or shoot the... Uh, the bear trap. And yeah, knife it. Duck the uh, axe throw from this guy. Get ready to shoot this uh, pitchfork guy as well. I'm going to wait for him to charge. Don't shoot too early because... You won't actually stagger him. And just get ready to shoot the lock there and go through. And once you go through this door, the enemies won't attack you anymore. So you're completely safe in here. So coming up now is the end of the chapter. Um, I, I will be doing my first save uh, after this. Once we do all the stuff here, just before we go to the canyon. So it's it really is up to you. You can choose to save now or save uh, where I'm going to save the canyon. Or just before we go to the valley. So, uh, something to keep in mind. So, you just go there. You can stealth kill that guy as well. And, uh, yeah, rescue Luis. So coming up here now, we are at the section where Leon gets captured and we're on our way to the valley. So yeah, we'll start off by just uh, skipping all through this. I'm going to grab the the uh, herb from here. And there will be a knife up here that you want to make sure to grab. And so this is a tutorial section. You basically, oh yeah, the, the one thing to point out with this game is uh, enemies do not hear footsteps in this game. So, you can just run up and stealth kill enemies. As long as you don't see it, you know, you're just standing right in front of them, they won't see it. Uh, so, if you're not comfortable with parrying this guy or whatever, you can just uh, stand in front of this bear trap. Kind of into the corner there, you can uh, kick him out of it. In case you didn't know, uh, yeah, you can kick the enemies when they walk into the bear traps like that. It's always a insta-kill. So you get the sapphire from the stove there uh, and make sure you kill these rats as well before you get the third rat 
Just slowly uh, go and get this guy and stealth kill him. Make sure you do all this first before we do the uh, unlocking the door. To get our stuff back. So yeah, very uh, straightforward stuff. Just uh, literally run through until the... So you can uh, slide through and get our stuff back. We will be coming back into this room uh, after the valley section. To get the... To unlock the door here with the small key. Gives you a mask. So you get everything here. So yeah, coming up here is the... Sort of these, this little merchant part. Um, so we are going to get the... We're going to sell some stuff here. And we're going to upgrade the inventory. Uh... I, I don't I I don't think I ended up doing this yet, but I do recommend buying the sniper rifle here if you're able to. Because you get a discount, I believe, on the on the scope for it. So if you want to save like 4k. One thing as well, make sure you do you do sell the the red, green, and yellow herb together. Mixed together. Um a bit more space they sell for 10k uh, perfect size. basically I recommend selling the f uh, two Pleasant two of those uh, mixed herbs together just uh it's it's a lot of money for early games so just at the at the early parts of the game make sure to sell two of them and then just use the rest rest of them for upgrading your health for the rest of the game it's gonna come in handy later so and now yeah, just go here and pick off her. So this this part here is just completely random. You just gotta do your best to try and survive. The strat we're, what we're gonna go is once you come up here, immediately just run off and uh run up, come up, shoot this guy, quickly switch to the handgun here and shoot this barrel here. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to insta kill her. Uh what what I like to do is go go through this way here. Get the small key here. Switch to the shotgun. Shoot this guy out of the way. Get the uh, flash grenade here. Now, like I said, this part is completely random. So you might get way, way more lucky than I'm getting right now. A lot of time I can get like sort of a free run through here. Like I don't usually have these enemies block me the whole time. But yeah, like I said, it's just more about doing your best to get through it, and it's really not too bad if something goes wrong, because we, we literally just made a save, so if something goes wrong, just, just restart, you know, and that's that's another thing I didn't point out, is whenever you fail or die or whatever, make sure you quit out of the game. Not, not, not close the game, but make sure you pause the game, quit out, go to the main menu, and load in the save again. Because the game does, uh, the game will keep the time that you, you know, you did, you just did, like, in the last checkpoint or whatever. So you're just adding on, like, probably, like, 50 minutes for nothing. So whenever something really bad happens and you want to retry, make sure you're always quitting out to the main menu. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't really pointing out, um, when you're turning that little, that little valve there, you have, like, sort of iframes there. I'm pretty sure you can still get blown up if, if there's a dynamite near you or whatever. I think, uh, certain melee attacks will still damage you. But for the most part, you have semi iframes. So yeah, we're going to get the mask from here. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be getting two of these masks. Um, in one of them, we're going to be putting th uh, three uh, rubies into them. And then the other one, I believe we're going to put three of the uh, sapphires. Uh, yeah, yeah, this puzzle is just, uh, I think it's literally turning it left once and then L1 once as well. I'm trying to think of the... 
the controls off the top of my head there, but it's it's very simple. So yeah, once you go through here, just go for a stealth kill on this guy. The other guy to the left here is gonna hear you and see you, so after you do the stealth kill, walk back a bit just to pick off this guy. Just uh, shoot him, get as many shots as you can as possible. And uh, this other villager here, you're going. We're just gonna bait, try and bait her into the bear trap. And basically, don't do what I'm doing here right now. As you see, she's not, she's not taking the bait. So what you want to do is, you want to stand behind here. This will uh, force her to walk up to us. So sometimes the villagers uh, are smart, and they do try to uh, avoid the bear traps as well. You can see her doing it right now, but if you kind of just run around, eventually they will walk into the bear trap. So you go get the free kill there. And uh, make sure to go through here. There's a large resource there. There's a barrel. There's a, uh, let's see, yeah, a sapphire here. Nice. Coming up here, there's going to be a few things uh, we want to shoot. The first thing to point out is you want to shoot these uh, from far away. Uh, after we run up here because the Salvador will if you're too close the Salvador will actually hear you so what you want to do is you want to stand around here and uh, shoot this uh, little thing here I'm actually trying to find it right now I always lose sight of it because it's like kind of like blended in with the area but yeah just shoot that make sure you shoot, shoot the wood before you shoot the thing down there and to your left there, there's, a, there's actually a cabin with a herb in, the, in there, so I recommend getting that. I actually completely f forgot there was a herb in there. I believe there's a herb in that hole. So yeah, I recommend getting that as well. And then you should be able to just run by the Salvador here and make sure to shoot this bird's nest. You get guaranteed gunpowder from there, so. <laughs> and when you run through here, make sure to stick a bit hard right. You'll always usually avoid all the bird traps if you stick to, to the right side. So yeah, we'll get the ruby here. The egg here as well. And uh, here we'll go salt this. Uh... Oh yeah, we can get the... yeah. You, I've gotten a grenade from that drawer a good few times. Usually get something good, but... Yeah, this puzzle is uh, wheat, pig, and baby. Same, uh, same one every time. Get the crystal marble for the yet another puzzle here and uh for this part here just just purposely run up here and you'll bait out this guy's uh grab attack you, you really actually can just run into him there and avoid him but if you want to make sure you don't get grabbed you can't just uh do what i just did there and just uh run around the, the long way around the table for this puzzle here when this begins just hold up a little bit until you see the balls align like that and once you see it like that, just press uh, L1 or R1 and rotate. Uh, I'm not sure what the exact buttons are on PC, keyboard or whatever, but yeah. Very, uh, very simple puzzle. Once you, like, know that. So yeah, as we uh, go on here. So, uh... So... I'm not going to make my uh, next save yet. I recommend that you don't use it yet because I, th I think it's way too early, you know, since we already made the first save. Um, basically, our second save is going to be used just literally just before you uh, do the, the Lago fight because I, I feel like that's, that's probably one of the parts of the game that people are most worried about. So, Also, if you notice that we didn't save the dog, uh, the reason why we do that is because... Um, Basically, if you take a lot of the El Gigante's health down, like, very quickly in the fight, and then the dog, you know, the dog cuts in, spawns in, that actually heals up the El Gigante, so, um, overall, it's probably better to, uh, to do that without it, but before we can talk about that, um, so once that trigger happens there, you want to press the aim button so Leon's not stuck there as long, if you notice. You, you, Leon kind of gets staggered there. Um, 
when that explosion happens, but if you press the aim button, you can, like, get him out of it and then just run. Uh, yeah. So we're just gonna go through here. Um, so I shot the explosion there and the, the woman died from the explosion. That doesn't always happen, so be aware of that. So, but just run through and you should be able to avoid the, the villager. And then jump through the window and uh, shoot that guy. You can either, you can pick him off the handgun with the shotgun or whatever. It's, it's really up to you. Yeah, make sure you're collecting all these treasures here that we have. Especially the, the snake, you want to sell that for the... Yeah, for the uh, side quest or whatever. So yeah, collect everything here. I got a RNG hand grenade. So here I'm just crafting uh, some sniper ammo. If you if you do if you did get uh, I, I actually can't remember if I got RNG. Uh, I probably did get random uh, large resources. If you did, I recommend crafting the those now because you'll have more space and like if you're low on certain resources, the game will end up giving you them back from barrels and all that. So it's a, it's a pretty good idea to craft stuff early on. A deal well and there you could say I put all the Will that be all, then? the rubies into the master. You don't ha you really don't have to do everything here if you don't want to. Not only will you need cash, but but uh, I recommend buying the the ball thrower here because you get a discount for it. Come back any I I believe in all of this chapter you probably get a a discount. I think that's that's how it works for the most part. But, uh, yeah, re really, you can't save, like, most of everything that we're doing here for, um, ba basically before we do the El Gigante fight. Church. I made it. Yeah, so here, once you prepare, just go up and stealth kill this guy. But, but by the way, I, f I literally forgot to point this out, but if you did buy the sniper rifle earlier, um, I recommend... Uh, put, putting it in the storage, by the way. You know, when you buy it, just put it in the storage. Because you, you won't be using it. There's no, there really is no use to use it like this early on. You want to save the sniper for the El Gigante fight. It's the best uh, thing to use away. So if you did purchase it early on. Just before the valley. Yeah, just send that and the scope to the storage until we pick it up later. For the actual fight. And uh, here we're going to grab those. There's also a flash grenade you can grab up above. I don't really recommend getting it since it takes a bit of time to get her. And you're going to get it later on when we get Ashley. So. And uh, yeah, make sure you uh, save the key to get this uh, yellow diamond as well. So yeah, like I was pointing out earlier with the El Gigante fight. Um, you can save the dog. You can actually save the dog as well. And use that as a strategy. Because it also does uh, do a thing where it opens up the El Gigante for a certain attack. It makes him like run into a wall and he falls over and then his weak spot is exposed. And you can like get a good few shots into him at that point. So that's one thing I wanted to point out there earlier. But there's, there's like so much going on <laughs> as we're going on here. So it's hard for me to commentate on everything going on that I want to say. Just I thought that was a good time to talk about the dog since I, you know, we didn't save him there. But, uh, it's something to think about. It's, it really is up to you. You can save the dog if you want. It's up to you. I, I also believe if you don't do, like, so much damage to him, to the El Gigante right away, that it doesn't heal him as much. Or, like, let's say you only take, like, 30% of his health or something and then the dog spawns out. I, I think he actually won't get healed at all, or it's very low amount of healing that he'll get. Whereas, if you take the El Gigante's health down, like, really low before the dog spawns in, which I believe is probably actually a certain amount of damage that you do, then he's going to heal a lot more. The, sa the same thing, uh, well, pr somewhat the same thing happens with the, the Lago fight. The, the Lago fight... 
or the Delago itself heals up after a certain attack. There, there is a lot to talk about with the mechanics and how they've they designed this game. So, some of it is very poor, honestly. I, I kind of hate that they made it so the, the Lago heals and so on. In which, kind of like to get around the, the Lago healing, you, you need to have put a lot of time into it so it's not really something you're going to be doing. You just have to go through it like normally. There, there, there is a way to like one phase or one cycle the lago but it's something that, that i've designed this guide to be for you know casual players basically so it's just not gonna happen but you can make the lago fight uh easy uh, i'm not just saying that as oh mlg pro gamer or whatever but i really do think you can make it easy God damn it. uh once you realize like certain things and um, but yeah once you get to here just run around here stand where i'm standing right now and wait Remember, the enemies don't uh, hear your footsteps, so... So you're just gonna wait here, and once he gets off here, just run up to him and stealth kill him. A stealth kill is an insta-kill for these guys. And, uh, basically what you're gonna do now is you're just gonna run through the whole section. You're not gonna really, uh... We're gonna not really collect anything, because... Uh, spoiler alert, you can actually come back here later, and all the enemies will be despawned. That's what we're gonna do. It probably sounds like you're... It probably sounds like we're, you know, adding a lot of time into the robot. We're really not, honestly. There is actually a lot of stuff we can get here, so... So, but anyway... I recommend just immediately going for the fuel on that egg there. And then just going this way. And just uh, immediately exiting. And uh, at this point here, you can choose to either shoot the bomb here and then... Like, just uh, jump down. But uh, honestly... Yeah, just I recommend just jump down the hole. The strip. Don't even bother shooting the wall, honestly. Think of back now. Think of back to this. Just looking at yeah, it's probably like the worst thing you can do is actually shoot that bomb wall. There's already enough uh, bad RNG that can happen here. Uh, yeah, you may end up having like way better RNG than I'm getting. Like I, I probably took way more hits here just because I shot the, yeah, shot the bomb at the that that archer. So coming up here, we're gonna make our next or second save. I have particularly designed the saves to uh, be at what I thought was like probably the best timing for getting through certain sections. You know, we you really do want to choose like. Uh, I I do think the saves are kind of like a person to person thing as well, because there's definitely parts in the game that more people, certain people will find harder than other people, and so on. Certain sections you might find, hey, this part actually is not bad for me, or yeah. So really, you can pick and choose. Uh, what saves you where you want to make them i just would say is definitely try not to make saves like so close to each other you know like for, for example like we could have probably made a save before we went to the this section here to get the fuel and then saved again before the the lago that's like that's where it's like really bad you don't want to do that at that point you're just wasting saves especially because we're not even like spending time in the in that part to get the fuel we're li literally just uh you know we're, we are literally just get going in there and getting back out and that's kind of the design of this this guide is to try and uh, get through those sections where it's not so bad uh but so the the lago fight um it, it, even though i was like struggling with this fight for the longest time and i was like like, how are you supposed to do this fight where we're taking damage and all that, or taking so much damage at once? Because it does feel like it's crazy. But the one thing that made this fight way easier for me was one simple thing is that you can move while aiming, you know, when you're throwing the archers or whatever. Like, right, right now, while you're pressing L1 and R2, 
Like, you can move left and right. And at the beginning of this fight, I recommend you hold right up until you see that little wood, wood plank, whatever that thing is, just beside there. The second you see it on screen, I recommend stopping for a second and then for about two seconds and then hold right again and just keep hitting them. And like basically when you do this, you're going to avoid the, the lagos that launch like every time as well. So that's, that's one thing I, I even recommend uh, practicing because we did just make a save before this so I would recommend getting a... I'd recommend just like go just doing the fight and getting a feel for it. I think you can swallow me whole, huh? And uh, yeah, going from there. So uh, here, here, here's something to point out. Once the Delago gets by right now, he heals. So let's say you got his health to ten percent. His health has now regenerated to seventy percent. Yes, I'm not joking. That's that's how this fight. It, that's how this fight like kind of feels like that he has iframes or something it's just that he's heating at certain points it's, it's really actually annoying and it's like there's certain parts where it looks like it hits him as well but it actually hasn't like those those two shots there actually missed him i'm pretty sure you definitely want to be like for the most part, you want to be kind of a little bit aiming up, depending on where he is. There's, there's certain points where you want to be aiming up, and then other points where you want to be aiming more down. So those two shots there, I should have been aiming up more. And I would have uh, hit him. Now if you do get enough... Um, if you do get enough accurate hits on him, you will actually get him down within two cycles. see me taking a hair I believe he's always at this point here with this little phase thing here yeah he's always at this this same particular spot I've noticed and then once he goes under here I think he, he usually spawns somewhere near this bow that's like hanging up there yeah somewhere like just right beside it I've noticed he's somewhere like around that same spot and after this now he's gonna heal again <laughs> This same particular thing where he's coming for you like that. He always heals after that. But the the thing about it is he heals less the more he does it throughout the fight. So the first part of it he heals to 70%. And then that second time he does it. He's only, he's only going to heal like probably like 10% or something. It's very low. But uh, I really wish they didn't design it that way. Because it is actually annoying. Like, it's not even like, like that in the original. It takes, like, I think, like, 11 hits. On professional, uh, in the original, something like that. But, uh, yeah. And, yeah, the whole time here, I'm still, like, just holding left, left and right and so on. So, uh, yeah, coming up here, this is uh, probably one of the most important chapters in the entire game with regards to this to this guide. We're going to get like a lot of uh, loot in this chapter. Most of her... Ba basically, we're, a lot of stuff we collected already, and we're going to get like a heap of stuff coming up. There's going to be a lot to... Uh, one thing I recommend coming up a bit later is to write down some notes specifically for a certain part where we're going to sell a lot. Just so you can save uh, a lot of time. Yeah, here you can just, uh, usually if you're, I don't, I don't know why he actually got, that tentacle guy got up to me there, but usually you can actually just um, run by him or we're taking a hit. Or well, he kind of semi hit me there, but yeah. But yeah, after you get out from the crawl space there, just literally just keep holding forward and and like kind of moving to the right, just so you're obviously you're moving away from him. Some kind of shrine. And now here you don't need to go to the shrine, just make sure you go here, take a right, take two left turns here. 
or I guess it's like kind of like a, a right left turn and then yeah get the uh, the key what, what, one thing as well I I don't know why it's like a habit that I do or I, I definitely don't recommend shooting the barrels I've been doing that a few times in the run I recommend not doing that just because you're gonna but basically we're gonna sell all the hanging ammo we have uh, coming up in a, a bit as well hanging ammo does sell for a lot so so uh, yeah make sure you're open the barrels with the knives uh, incoming here there's gonna be a box here that I'm gonna run by uh, at the time of recording this I wasn't aware of that box right to the right now that drops a guaranteed flash grenade so make sure you get that I, I just wasn't aware of that uh, at the time yeah, don't, don't make the same mistake as I do. But yeah, you can just run through this part. You just crouch the axe there. There's two barrels incoming here. And incoming is one, one of the these uh, puzzles here. Which are uh, always the same, the same every time. So you want to click on the top left here. The bottom middle and the top right. Let's go here. Get ready to turn around quickly and just run through here. There's going to be a silver thing you're going to shoot here. Once you get to here. And then like just jump down here. This will break the boxes as you jump down. Grab the stuff here. You, this Molotov might actually get thrown at you at this point. That's random if that happens. So, uh, yeah, I actually I actually ended up missing the, the yellow hair. But I actually ended up picking up. I wasn't even aware of it at the time. But don't make the mistake I did. The the stagger from the flame prevented me from picking it up. So and like with, with so much going on, so many enemies around, I couldn't. I wasn't paying attention to what the items I picked up. So, but it's really it's really not too bad overall. Uh, remember to keep in mind that you want to sell another. Uh, mixed herb incoming as well for this chapter before we fight the El Gigante and that, that, that's another thing and after you after you get by that part that we just did make sure you discard the well not discard the shotgun but put her in the storage so just so we have more room and while we're here just copy what I'm doing here but uh, one thing to keep in mind that's that can save you a lot of time in this game is Whenever you pause the game, the game timer stops. Uh, and another thing, whenever you click on the typewriter, the in-game time stops as well. So you can adjust your inventory while you're in the typewriter. So remember, remember to keep that in mind when you're, whenever you're near a merchant and the typewriter is right there, just you know, and you want to look at your inventory. I definitely recommend doing that. I, d I honestly don't think I probably did that like in this run, but. Yeah, keep that in mind. It, it's something I, keep, it's something I recommend. Uh, just for certain parts, obviously. And another thing is... There's got to be a part where we're selling everything. Like I was saying before. Um, I recommend like writing down everything I'm doing. In this part coming up when we get to the merchant. Just write, write down everything you're going to sell. Just so you can save time. So, you know, pause the game, write everything down, and go from then. Because it's going to make you lose a lot of time, because there's a lot to sell. You're, you're going to see when we get there, but it's... Like I was saying before, this is one of the most... Probably the most important chapter for, for this challenge run. I have designed this, this, uh, this challenge run to where everything I'm collecting here is, is to get you, like, a lot of money for all the upgrades that you need and to get you like get like the sniper rifle like really overpowered and so on I, I don't think I need to explain that puzzle there it's just 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 copy yeah the ones that I selected on which was the, the I think that, that puzzle was the two at the bottom left and then one at the bottom right And over here, I think we're going to the chicken island here, the chicken farm. 
And here's one of the most important parts of things here. If you don't already know, the golden chicken egg in this game, it, uh, it does 70% of Salazar's health. So under no circumstance, use this egg to heal or throw it. Th this egg needs to remain in your inventory uh, until you get the Salazar, because that's where you're going to use that. It's going to make that fight easy peasy. So, even if you run out of heals, whatever, just reload and go again, because trust me, you want to keep that golden egg. It's not worth, you know, using it just for like one heal or whatever. Yeah, make sure you go to this little spot as well to get the red nine that sells for 7k. Also, if you're wondering if it's worth to get the red nine or use it instead of the regular handgun, I would say no, because. Obviously, it does more damage and all that. But it really is only useful if you get the stock. And that's just more room. So, I personally would advise against the Red Nine. But really, it is... I'd say you could get away with getting the stock as well. But just... If you want my opinion, I think it's best to just keep the... Keep the regular handgun. Because the other weapons that we have... Is more than enough to get through the game you know the regular handgun is going to be just more of a sort of like a set piece weapon that we have throughout the run for certain parts uh for example the the waterhall segment where ashley's turning the cranks and all that you can use the handgun and shoot off the enemies in the distance you know that the handgun is really good for that even if you haven't even upgraded the much or anything So yeah, I think we're uh I think we're just done here. We're getting everything that we need here. And like I was saying before, uh we were we're gonna go back to this this little uh this spot here that we were at earlier, getting the fuel. I I believe either when this chapter begins or when you grab the church key that we just grabbed. All the enemies uh, despawn from this area, so you can just go here. It doesn't it doesn't really take that much time because it's right here. So, but well, basically, going here will make it so that we can get the third puzzle piece for that thing down there that gives us like fifteen k. We're also gonna collect two snakes so we can sell them for the side quest thing, so we can get more of the uh, spinels. There's also a uh, hand grenade as well here. A bunch of uh, medallions that we're gonna get rid of too. Probably seems like we're, you know, with this kind of run, maybe you might you might think is it worth it to go here? It definitely is. Like with with the time that we do this guide in. You should have like it. You you should have like nearly. Oh, I would probably guess like forty minutes of free time, like to go with. To uh, you know, get under five hours and thirty minutes. Uh, honestly, even even more if you take advantage of pausing the game. So whenever you're, whenever whenever you're thinking about what you want to do, just just pause the game. You know. And I don't mean go into the inventory, actually like pause the game where you can quit out and all that. that just to be specific. Before you like do anything of, hmm, maybe I don't know what I'm doing here. I need to think about whatever. Because all that time does add up, so. So yeah. Like I was saying before, make sure you get two, two snakes here. There's, I'm pretty sure there's like three snakes in this area. You already, we already got the snake, the first snake earlier for the side quest. You need to sell three of them. And uh, in here, we can get a small key, which we're going to use to open a drawer on the way back here.
And uh, yeah, I think the only way back from here is to actually go this way. Pretty sure. This is uh, kind of optional. You don't, you don't really need to go here. But this barrel does tend to drop like three items. So, got 400 Pesadas and five hanging ammo. That's... It's good, good amount. We're gonna sell all the hanging ammo, so I guess that was worth it. But you, it's gonna be random what's gonna drop from us. So but yeah, that's that's everything now. We can just head back and do the puzzle here. By the way, this this puzzle is uh, not random. If you're wondering, uh, the just just like most puzzles in the game, the puzzles change depending on the difficulty setting. So assi assisted and standard are the same puzzles, and then hardcore and pro are the same. So on hardcore and pro, to solve this, you need to move the bottom right twice. So one, two, move to the bottom left twice. One, two, and then the top left once, and there you go. So this is what I was talking about now coming up here is to make a note or whatever and uh, just like r write down everything or memorize everything I'm doing here just so you can do it as quickly as possible. Because this does take me a bit of time to do so after after we do this just work on to this uh, drawer here. You're about to see like the amount of stuff that I'm about to sell, all the jewels that we have here. I definitely wasted like minutes of time here, so I could have been way quicker. But e even if I did waste it, what time doesn't really matter. It's not gonna like I know I'll still get the run done, no problem. But basically, you want to buy that mask. Uh, now, fr from here on. It really is up to you if you want to buy more. Uh, it, it's it's up to you if you want to. I definitely recommend getting the mask. But other than that, if you want to save the rest of the spinels for the for an exclusive upgrade, let's say if you're using the uh, Chicago typewriter, you can do that. And uh, make sure you put four four of the jewels in that. And if you have enough uh, of the the blue ones, put put it in that. Regardless, you should still have, still have no problem with money. So here we're just gonna sell everything that we have. Regardless of the RNG that you get compared to mine, like you might you probably might even get better RNG than I got if you're if you're following along with what I'm doing, everything I'm picking up. Like, you might end up actually getting better RNG than I did. But yeah, make sure you sell all the hanging ammo. Don't worry about the, uh, the hanging ammo, you're going to get it all back. There's going to be a lot of hanging ammo coming up, so... This is what so that's, I'm there's a 100k in the bag. I, I actually didn't even Fine. sell everything as well. well that be all, then? But yeah, let, like I said, choose whether if you want to... Save the spinels for an exclusive upgrade or buy the black attache case for more items to drop. And I hear him want the sniper, I didn't buy it earlier. If you want to save 4k, you know, but buy it earlier in the second chapter. I think in all of the second chapter. There you are, as you wish. Yeah, I think all of the second chapter. It's on the exclusive or discount, sorry. And I hear you want to upgrade the the capacity, reload speed, all 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 of those uh, ones each. Just upgrade them, and the damage to level four. And coming up here is also where we're going to make our next save. By the way, I think it's a good point to make our next save here, just because it's before the El Gigante. Welcome. 
El Gigante can be a bit of a tricky a tricky fight, so but uh, honestly, if you're comfortable with the El Gigante fight, I would recommend not even saving here and just saving at the end of this chapter. Because that's we will make another save there, so. But at the same time, it's not going to matter because that's, yeah. But like I was saying before, you can enter this, you can click on this and the in-game timer will stop. And uh, another thing I probably should have pointed out earlier is when you're, when you're healing, let's say you're taking hits early on in the game, make sure you're using the eggs and the first aid sprays. Don't don't use the mixed herbs because you want to sell those. So so so, but but by this point in the game, you won't have sold two of the mixed herbs. One of them from uh, just before you did the valley at the beginning. And then that one there. So anyway, coming up is the El Gigante fight. And we get this uh, jewel here as well. This th thing from here. Uh, so basically we're going to be using this. The, the sniper rifle is going to be the thing that is the like probably the best use for this fight. Make sure you put the scope on the sniper as well. And before the fight begins, make sure you run to here. Stay hard left so you're going to activate the cutscene. But yeah, but basically what you're going to do is... Uh, just try and shoot the El Gigante in the head as much as you can. After about three, four shots, it'll bring out the tentacle. And as a, you want to, when the tentacle comes out, you want to aim somewhere around the room. That's like more accurate. And if you watch here, I'm not moving the scope. I'm waiting for the tentacle to align with the scope. I'm not moving at all. So when you get the last shot before his tentacle comes out, just aim up, specifically up in the middle of him. And then wait for the tentacle to align with the, uh, you know, with your scope, if you know what I mean. If it, th this is like a, this is something I suggest if you're not comfortable with shooting, because it can, it is, it is a bit difficult to actually shoot the tentacle, I've noticed. Like, I've struggled with it myself, but I found that if I shoot him, you know, I shoot him until the tentacle comes out. And then he does the animation where the tentacle comes out, and then I've noticed if I just wait, or just like, you know, don't move myself, it's, it seems to be more consistent. So I'm just aiming up now, and I'm waiting for that to align there. And just try to get as many shots as you can as possible. And like I was just doing before there as well, use the house. You, you Use the houses to... Uh, so he comes for you and picks off the thing so I would recommend using like one sniper shot there as you enter the house and then switch the handgun and just pick off as many shots as you can and the second like he picks up the house you want to run out because that I'm pretty sure that house slam is a one hit kill but yeah just just as much as you can just keep picking them off you don't need to get like all the shots don't need to be headshots really because the sniper is doing a lot of damage to him regardless. And even when he has the tentacle out, you can see he's still doing this animation as well. So, so just try your best to get as many shots in. And another thing as well, when it, when the tentacle is out, uh, if you throw a flash grenade, that also will do damage. But just make sure the tentacle is already exposed. Don't do it like before, you know? I, th I think, uh, I think w when you shoot the tentacle where the sniper and it's fully upgraded, or it's upgraded to level 4 like it is, it's, I think it does like 20, 2800 damage or something like that, let's say. And I think if, I think a flash grenade does about 2000. So, kind of, you can kind of decide if you think it's worth to use it or not, but it's more just, um... Really just getting through the fight. I think it's the best way to do it. But coming up here, make sure you go up to here because there is a box here with a guaranteed grenade. A grenade always drops from this. And coming up here, there's a cutscene with a dog where the dog spawns. Um so you can actually skip this cutscene. Which on a controller you want to press PlayStation controller, you want to press the circle. Which I, I don't think I actually did that here, but 
But if, if you end up not skipping or whatever, just uh, when you're running by, just hold up the camera. F face upwards, this can kind of help that he doesn't actually oh, hit you. This point the camera up does something to mess with him, but um, but you can skip that cutscene if you press circle on a PlayStation controller, B on an Xbox controller, and then I think I either I think both right click and escape on a keyboard or mouse skips the cutscene. That's something to keep in mind. Alternatively, you can also just shoot him in the face with a sniper, and that's a one-hit kill. So, <laughs> this is all you have all the options. So this uh, puzzle here. Um, so the blue. So you want to move the blue one. There's like a there's like a spot that's at the blue that's at the top left right now. You want to move that to the bottom right. The, the big piece there it's aligning with the gold and then the green you want to move that a little bit to the to the right there and then the red you just want to you just want to hold like l1 or whatever it'll solve automatically uh alternatively i will i will leave a link in the description of the video if you want to see the puzzle solutions i have a video so you can check that out if you want if you're like not seeing what I'm explaining there, it's kind of hard to explain. Ashley, you in there? But there is like a consistent solution to it, just so you know. All right, let's get the hell out Okay, of here. so coming up here, we're gonna go back to where we rescued Ashley from. There'll be a thing you can shoot at the ceiling there. It'll give you a yellow diamond. Make sure to get that. You're going to need that to combine it into a thing a thing that, that we have. So it give you a lot of money, so don't forget that. Um, okay. So this uh, sequence incoming is a an escape sequence with Ashley. And her AI is particularly very inconsistent, so... This part can be like very annoying to get through. There's uh, a couple of things you can do. Uh, the strat we're gonna do is we're gonna do it a bit slowly. We're gonna like stealth kill the woman that's first appears here. Make sure you grab this flash grenade, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna start off by slowly going up to this woman here and stealth killing her, and then and then we're just gonna hide until the other. I think the first two villagers walk by. But alternatively, what you can do is you can uh, kind of walk from here a little bit, run when you get to about here, and then go up and stealth killer, and then run up to the to the gate where the enemies come from, and you you will you should be able to stealth kill this this uh this guy that's about to come from the left here, like you'll be able to just run up and stealth kill him, like even though he's facing you if you if you know the timing or you can actually just wait for him to get a bit closer and then run into him. And then after that, run through like the middle of the uh, where all the graves are, and uh, use your shotgun to run through. Like if this if this strat is working out for you, I'm just uh, pointing that out. That's something else that you can do. Because I've had I've sometimes seen the villagers uh, notice Leon, even though you're trying to hide and all that. So it's very weird timing, or when I'm stealth killing the. The woman villager. I've noticed that. Uh, I've seen the villagers see me as I do it. It's very weird. Also, look, looking back, I don't recommend flashing here because this actually stunned Ashley. So, uh, what I recommend here is not not do this and just 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 run through them with the shotgun and shoot them out of the way, and save save the flash for if Ashley gets grabbed. At this point here, it's like kind of free. If you if you get actually like past the the gravestones, it's kind of free from then on, honestly. And if you want, you can go to the merchant here. I don't recommend it because we're gonna go to the merchant, but just before the cabin fight. So I recommend just running through here. Sorry, we need to keep moving. Yeah, here's another part that I'm gonna recommend uh, two different ways of doing this part. 
the, the strat you're going to see me do here is we're going to stealth we're going to headshot this guy it's going to be random if he dies here or he will plague it so if he does plague it just ignore him um and what we're going to do here is we're going to shoot the front of the building here this will usually attract all the enemies in the area to come th come through the the door the doorway in because they're you know they're hearing the sound or whatever and this can uh make it so that because when you come up through through this ladder here uh there, there is enemies like in your way and they have a chance of seeing you so i think this is an okay strat alternatively uh you can actually just uh run through uh the part like run through the window from the the first guy that we shot with the sniper you can just like just run through completely and then run into the cabin where you get the shotgun from originally at the start like go, go through like that way to escape with the uh timing the enemies in the middle of the village shouldn't see it for the most part um and this this key here is optional you don't have to get this in fact i actually recommend uh, if you don't get the key, if you don't use the key here, remember to save it for the when we get to the castle at the beginning. Kind of, you know, after the, but before you do the first corridor section, there is a drawer. After the introduction to Salazar, Salazar's first first cutscene, the se the segment ends, and then uh, you kill the enemies. And then there's a drawer to the left of the room. That'll give you a, I think it's like a large uh, gold bar or whatever. I can't, I can't, I don't even know how much it sells for, but yeah, it's got a bit of money. But yeah, this, this is actually kind of straightforward. You're just like shooting away, but generally just use the shotgun. If it actually gets grabbed, just flash grenades. Um, oh, another strat we can do here because we're, we're about to make our next save here so you can try just running through this part or get into this part let's actually got here here this is okay she will uh usually just run in here if she doesn't what you want to do is make a save and quit out and when you load in the game again ashley will be in here with you so keep that in mind so when you get here yeah just make a save make sure you quit out to the main menu and load the game in again. And uh, yeah, if you're looking to adjust the inventory or whatever, make, remember to click on the... Use the, the typewriter. And uh, here, you want to put these three uh, gemstones in here. The three yellow ones. Uh, kind of... I, I would say I would say it's optional to use... To put both the purple things into that. If even that, I would even say just use one of them I'll pay a pretty penny. and save one of them for later. Maybe it's probably better because uh, money at this point is not is not scarce. Um, I'm gonna upgrade the handgun here. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I would say only upgrade the fire rate once, or like really, it really is up to you if you want to even want to upgrade the handgun in the first place. I'm upgrading it just for certain parts like the the water hole. Also, by the way, particular, very particular strap there. Uh, what you want to do to stealth kill there is when you're in the save room, make sure you go to the exact corner of the room uh, where, where the merchant was. And then uh, immediately just run out to him. You should be able to stealth kill him. It's kind of particularly timed, but you can't. It can do it. Anyway, the cabin fight here. So uh, the cabin fight is is um it is kill based, timed, and to finish it off, if you want to finish it off like in the third phase of it really fast, uh, you can kill the pig head guy. The, the, there's a lot to this cabin fight. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure at the beginning, like the first phase, you, you definitely need need to kill enemies. Um, I think you need to kill like, I think it's like, th 17 or 18 enemies or something on the first phase. I can't remember the exact number. 
but it's a good amount of enemies you want to kill at the very beginning. Um, but the fight does go faster if you board up all the windows. So after you get a certain amount of kills, the enemies will start dropping the boards more. So it's a good idea to, to snipe the first enemies at the beginning there, and then use uh, the grenades outside the windows so you can kind of try and emulate when I'm throwing the grenades and so on. Also, I recommend only using two flash grenades in this cabin fight. Uh, one for the when the pig head comes out at the end, and the other for an emergency, um, particularly if two or more plaga heads spawn in, because they're kind of hard to you know just control. And uh, yeah, like I said, the cabin fight it is timed from the last phase. When the last phase begins, which is when the pig head comes in. You can actually just run through and wait, but it, it takes way longer. I don't think it's worth the wait. You, even though, even if you did wait, you could still get the S plus rank, but... You might need some company. That's going to require you to just constantly run around avoiding attacks, and you're probably just going to end up like draining like a lot of heals anyway, so... And, uh... Particularly, make sure you're crafting uh, rifle ammo and flash grenades. De definitely the priority is to craft uh, sni sniper rounds. Um, but yeah, when, I, I don't think I pointed out, but when you board up all the three windows, make sure you go up here straight away and immediately open all the boxes. I should have done that sooner than this. Um, the cutscene that happens you know, where the, the villagers are putting the, the ladders up, whatever. That, it's, it's, it's RNG how quickly that spot, that, or, or I think it's kill base. Like, if I've already killed, if you've already killed a certain amount of enemies and you board up the windows, the cutscene will pop up tri uh, quicker. Uh, for, you know, the, when they're boarding up the windows, so... You can actually like board up windows and run up run up the stairs and the cutscene won't spawn yet but you haven't killed enough enemies so it's something to keep in mind and uh yeah once you get to the to like this part it's best to go downstairs at this point and you can use a hand start off with a hand grenade and then switch to a flash and then uh about four headshots will kill him and that's the cabin fight So yeah, that's uh, one of the hardest parts of the game done, the cabin fight. I, cho I chose to make another save just before that because I do know it's very... It can be very uh, Risa heavy, so... But uh, yeah, our next save will not be until uh, the start of the castle. You definitely... I definitely don't recommend saving anytime soon. Or to the rest of the, the village now. But uh, yeah, from here, I recommend just going right for the boxes here before you grab any ammo, just so you have an increased chance of more ammo dropping. I have something I think you, love. you get like uh, shotgun and sniper well, ammo well, here, so. Got something new for and uh, yeah. So we are Ruby's going to no sell a bunch of stuff here. We're going to sell the shotgun. We're going to buy the other shotgun oh, here. Thank you. Anything else yeah, the, we're going to get the right shotgun. Sorry. Also, uh... Sorry. The, the next upgrade case there is on a discount in this chapter, so I uh, particularly wait for that to buy it here. And if you if you want to, you can get 10 gunpowder. Um, but yeah, when you get the shotgun, make sure to upgrade it. The, the firepower once. And uh, the fire rate as well, I believe. And uh, yeah, come up here is a very, very annoying section that if the enemy see you here, it alerts the whole area and like a lot more enemies will spawn, including a pig head guy. But what you can do is you can also stealth this section. It's a can be particularly difficult to do as well, but I think if you're very careful, you should be able to do this consistently. But uh, yeah, just uh, st immediately stealth kill the first one. Wait for this guy to turn around there and stealth kill him. Go here. 
And from here on now, there's four enemies that we need to snipe and pick off here. So what we want to do is go up here and make sure you walk to the corner here. And uh, snipe this. Once you snipe her, uh, she's going to start walking up here now because she heard, heard the shot. So just uh, snipe her. And uh, honestly, so that woman I just sniped now on top there, I recommend getting her last. She's like optional or... She won't like hear you or anything, Damn. because uh, you you want to account for the chance of the two enemies in the ground there becoming a plaga. So, so uh, yeah, so, just something to keep in mind. So once you kill those those uh, well those four enemies you just killed in the first two as well. So six enemies, you pick off those and the area won't won't alert now. And you can get the large resource for all the barrels as a hand grenade here as well. It's a good amount of loot here. Um, going up to the next section is the two uh, Bella sister fight. Yeah, make make sure you craft some uh, sniper rounds. You're gonna need that. Flash grenade as well. And when you're running up here, equip the uh, shotgun. And when you're running to this guy, shoot him in the legs just so uh, it can prevent him from turning into a plaga. And you can shoot him as well on the way out. If you want to get, like, make sure to get the barrels and all that. Usually, I've. I, th I think uh, I think this guy probably has a small chance of grabbing Ashley, but it, it just just run, and if he does grab her, you can just you can literally just run back and uh, stealth kill him because he's grabbed her, so it's a free stealth kill. In this part here, you can uh, run up this guy. I think um yeah, yeah you can get a free stealth kill on these uh on that first one there. And from here on, I recommend just shooting this villager in the face and picking her off. And if for, for whatever reason, this you get this RNG where she was gonna transform, and yeah, just knife her. So the uh, the strat what we're gonna do do for this for the two Bella sisters is well, first off, we're gonna grab everything here. We're gonna make actually hide in the locker up above here because. There's a locker down below, but what? if an explosion goes off near it, it can break it and she comes out then. So, I highly recommend hiding her in that one. But, uh, yeah, we're going to use two uh, two of the mine rounds from the bolts. Particularly just to have some crowd control at the beginning. And, uh, basically, we're going to just use the sniper rifle to snipe the Bella sisters in the head. And, just, like, at the beginning, get as many headshots as we can. And then basically just uh, pick them off until we kill them all. So w what I like to do is like set one like there near the door so the villagers will run into that if they get close to you. And set one there as well for when they they get close to you. You, you don't want to set it at the Bella sister because that will knock them in the ground. And they just when the fight begins start walking away while you're aiming. Just so you can uh, yeah, get distance and just get as many couple of shots as you can. And then uh, once you get like a couple of shots off, just run away then. Um, but basically what we're going to do now is we're just going to go up here. And this is going to be like our, our little farm spot for now. We're basically going to be running around in a loop here until we kill them all. I think this is a pretty good strat for this. Like, you can literally just keep running around in a circle here. Uh, when you shoot them in the face like that, and, you know, there's the option to kick, do not go try to kick them if they're, if they're not close, you know? Because they do not... They do not last in that stagger for long. It's literally, like, a second or two before they get out of this, so something to keep in mind. You, you you may end up just getting yourself killed doing that, so. 
Yeah, like I said, just keep running around in a circle and picking them off, same as the enemies using the shotgun. Hopefully you've got them at the shotgun ammo as well, because you want to have a... It's somewhat decent amount for the... Mendez fight as well. Here I'm just going to use a flash grenade just to have more control. You can see that guy just eating the sniper shot there. I guess, I guess it wasn't a headshot. And uh, yeah, we got one of the... Uh, yeah, we got one of the Bellas already, so... And from here, I'm just going to pick her off with the handgun. Almost done now. Um, if you're wanting to use another um, mine round, I recommend I keep, keep in mind that... I particularly uh, want to save the mine round because... We're going to... You want to have one mine round saved... For the Garador fight, you can use it to get out of that fight like quickly. So, just just keep that in mind. In which I get, I guess, like even if you do use it in that fight, or you maybe you want to use more. J just know that you want to be able to like craft a an explosive mine for uh, when you get to the castle. Are you hurt? No, I'm. Yeah, let's get out of here now. You did well back there. Seems this isn't your first so, time. Yeah, coming up here is another very, very small section, but very annoying. The running away from Mendez. Um, the thing about the thing about to keep in mind about this part is the enemies have very low health. So, the first enemy that shows up, he usually always dies in one hit. And I, I'm pretty sure even if it's a body shot, I I think maybe. You might need to get a headshot if you don't have the handgun upgraded, so I'm not too sure on that. But I'm pretty confident in saying that he just dies on one hit. And then after that, there's going to be like two villagers in the way. You only need to shoot the one on the left and then just keep running. So what I suggest is, is starting off with the handgun, shoot the first guy. We're, we're going to do this part in a very uh, unorthodox way because it kind of messed up on me. But yeah, shoot them. Just uh, shotgun that first one. You do not need to shoot her, by the way, the shotgun. That was just something being probably best. But make sure you don't miss the barrel shot there. Because this there totally screwed me. Um, if I didn't miss that first shot there, that would have like killed them all. So I kind of like panicked at this point. You do not want to use a flash grenade because that will stagger Ashley. So. But, uh... But yeah, yeah, once you shot the barrel, just keep running with the shotgun and just shoot whatever villagers are left in your way. You're the one he wants. Until you yeah, get, and that Jeez. should get you to the exit then. Run. What about you? Of course, try your best to not like spam the shotgun. You want to save the bullets as well. And uh, from here, Why not uh, you don't really need to click on the merchant here. Maybe if you need a heal. Uh, if you need a heal at this point, that's the only reason I recommend. Uh, yeah, if you want the first aid off him. And uh, yeah, craft uh, sniper rounds if you can. If you're not able to, you should be. The game should give you sniper rounds during the fight. Be careful. Uh, so the Mendez fight is can be pretty annoying to do, but it's pretty pretty straightforward as well. Um, especially with the upgrades that we have. The shotgun, we're going to use the, the knife and the shotgun. M memorize like his attacks like that like that to always in evade and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot his, his eyeball and block with the knife this will like give you like a lot of opening there and once you get like that first stagger there you switch to the handgun and once the don't don't knife him here uh shoot him with the sniper this will get him at the face too you see how quickly like he the sniper like really uh, quickens up the fight so and basically phase two is just memorize the attacks so you don't want to move too quickly when he does that attack you have a big window to move so keep that in mind and the barrels the fire barrels as well the first time he does it he 
he always says that born so keep that in mind you'll, you'll say like burn or whatever um, and I think he says a certain dialogue yeah burning his flame that's when he yeah so keep that in mind um, I, I don't know if he does this attack but like he, he's doing like a like a lunge attack at me right now I don't know if he does that every time after the barrel but but, but regardless whenever he, he does the first barrel make sure to run up and grab everything and then, uh, yeah, use the sniper if you want. Just use whatever you can. Uh, don't, don't. That was a, that was an accident, by the way. Don't, don't use the uh, bolt like I just did there. That was a mistake. But uh, yeah, just come off with the handgun. Waste all the hanging ammo that you can. Even taking hits here. Yeah, we've had uh, plenty of heals now. We take plenty of hits. Yeah, the base fight is just fighting attacks. Um, I'm waiting for him to do the other attack where you just stand still. It's a this one right here. Keep that in mind. You just stand still for that. Um, it's a unique animation, and he also he also like I've noticed that he shakes when he does this. So. Kind of an easy way to memorize that. It's a unique animation and he kind of shakes. Whereas when he's doing dot attack, he's like, I don't believe he's like shaking all there, so. And if you want to quicken up this uh, phase, you can, you really can actually just use the sniper as well if you want. But I, I do recommend, uh, I do recommend just using as much uh, like hanging ammo as well May maybe use up all the hanging ammo that you have until you have like maybe like 20 bullets left or something 20 even 10 even because uh, hanging ammo isn't important and there we go let's see Mendes fight it really, it really is a, an easy fight. I'm not even saying that it's like, oh, pro MLG gamer or whatever. Just, you know, it's you just a bit, once, once you like fade his attacks and all that, you get a feel for it. There you go. It should not be a problem. And that's the uh, end of the village here. Attention. Let's keep moving. Uh, Leon, I'm not going to turn into one of them, right? I won't let that happen. I promise. So yeah, there's a thing you can shoot there. Make sure to get that to for the emeralds. And this is going to be the end of this chapter here. We're going to make our next save uh, after this, by the way. So I recommend saving once you like do the stuff with the merchant here. So don't save at the end of the chapter here. Okay, so now that we've uh, left the village section, we're on our way to the castle. Castle is definitely is probably one of the scariest sections to do. Some parts can be very cheap. But uh, yeah, we'll do our best to get through what we've got here. To start off the... This part here, uh, so you can choose, you can choose to uh, save here right now, or kind of like save after you do the the merchants like stuff here. Welcome. I think uh, for the most part, what we're gonna do here is just uh, sell a bunch of stuff. We're also gonna bring the magnum as well. Make sure you buy the Magnum uh, in this chapter because it's on discount. So I believe the Magnum is actually on a discount for a good amount of time. I think I, I can't remember if it's multiple chapters, but or maybe it is just this chapter. But I think I've seen it be on discount for a good while. Yeah, we've heard the knife. 
starting to get an idea of your tastes, friend. I don't always so when it comes to the other uh, sniper, at, at this point you really don't need to upgrade it anymore. I, I do believe I do upgrade it again in a bit. But honestly, looking back, it's like there's some decisions that I made in this run where I'm like kind of regretting it. But it's not it's not going to be like, you know, it's not going to like be the end of the run for me or whatever. And I believe we, uh, another thing I did as well is I sent the Magnum to the storage just because we won't actually use it. Um, you, you really don't actually need to do that. It really is up to you. So coming up here is the first this plaga guy here. Um, what I should have done here, you can see him kind of getting staggered. Uh, once you run into him like that, ju just crouch as you get to him, and you'll avoid that. You'll avoid that stagger. And uh, don't worry about Ashley. Once you get to here, it's a safe spot, so you can just uh, run, run through, and she'll eventually catch up to you. Uh. So you know the way snipers like spawn in here on top of the towers there? These guys actually despawn if you just run through and activate the layer cutscenes coming up here. So once the part begins, which I think you can skip that scene as well if you press circle. Circle B or escape. So just run by, go over here and go look through this uh, window here, shoot that so you, we can bring up the that from here. And uh, once we like trigger all these cutscenes now, no the archers from before uh, will be gone. Except except for uh, like one guy that's behind us right now. He usually just catch up for a bit. R right now I'm like staggering this guy, so he dies from the, the explosion there. And here comes this guy. And here you can like pick and choose how you want to take them out. If you want to use the shotgun, or even like the sniper. I also uh. I ran by a barrel here. I recommend actually getting that barrel. I didn't, for some reason, I forgot to get it. But it gives you, it gives you like uh, five gunpowder, I think. I'm right here. Make sure to shoot this barrel. And to my right right now, there's a guy that you can snipe. I forgot that about about that as well. I recommend that you do that if you know what I'm talking about. He's kind of like to the top right. And now from here, up here, and there's once you come up to here, another guy from behind spawn will start running up to you. So. Get ready for him. And uh, I believe the guy that I was talking about to snipe, I think it's this guy. So if you snipe him, you, you, you'll only have to deal with like the one guy coming for his hand. And then this guy. Or maybe this is actually the guy because I think he is, like, he is a torch. But uh, yeah, the strike you can do here is just snipe as much as... I, I recommend sniping... Uh, done with the sniper as much as you can and then if actually gets grabbed just purposely use that to stab them for uh, a, a free kill and uh, right behind us now there's another barrel you can shoot you can shoot it when you're just before you get to here or you can shoot it when you're in here right now which we're like about to do here yeah this is this uh, barrel over there from here on, I believe there's no more barrels to shoot. You have to use the, the cannon. The cannonball. Here, I made some uh, poor decisions here. I, I, I recommend using a flash here. And then go right for the cannon. Because Ashley doesn't take damage from the cannonball. So, Because as you're saying, this is not going very well for him. I'm just draining right. heals right now. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I could have saved like... Two, two heals from this part, so. So yeah, I'd say the best thing to do is just, yeah. Use a flash room for the cannonball and just spam them out at the enemies and then just use the cannon to kill them all. Firing again. Here I'm like seeing like how quickly the enemies are coming for me. Get rid of that one. You can also use the cannon to shoot the medallions. I believe, uh, like when you, by the time you complete this side quest, if you've done everything that we've done, a, uh, you definitely should have more than thirty medallions. Right. I think. That 
that one well. This is usually a good point when you'll end up uh, having enough to get the exclusive upgrade ticket. And, uh, yeah, if you're using like a weapon for that, yeah, use it for the Chicago typewriter or whatever. But uh, yeah, we didn't go for that for this run. I just decided I'd rather get uh, certain other things. Get the the suitcase just so we can have like a lot more items to drop and so on. You notice there was uh we ran by some loot in the ground there. This, if you do see like a lot of loot, just just go down here anyway. Cause you're just you're circling around here, so you're coming back through. Here, yeah, we just get like a, a lot of loot here. You get the bangle, I believe. W w one thing as well, uh, for the most part, I recommend not putting anything into these bangles. Just sell them like by themselves, or at, at least like save one of each uh, jewel from here, because you want to put them into the into the crown that you get uh, before the vertigo fight. Because if you put like, like each, or if you put in like different colors, whatever, uh, you can sell for up to 100k. So. And uh, yeah, make sure at this point that you're able to have at least one uh, bolt for uh, mine. We're gonna use it to get out of the Garador fight very quickly. And you want to make sure you're not using too many flashes. It, sh it should be particularly easy to um Yeah, it should be particularly easy to not not waste too many flashes and have enough. <laughs> Good stuff, stranger. Ooh, for uh, getting up to here. Because it really doesn't cost much. Only five gunpowder and a large resource, so Good luck to you, stranger. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> I'll come back any time. Yeah, I upgraded the power there for the shotgun. Yeah, like after I do this, like all these sections when we kind of, you'll kind of like backtrack back to here a bit later. After we're done with the Garador section and so on. And then I believe before we do the water holly upgrade the sniper, I recommend not doing that. Take him back. The uh, the sniper damage really isn't that important. It's only it definitely is. It's important for the early game, getting through the village and all that. But from here, it's like there's not really like bosses that require like so much damage output. You know, where the main thing they have is the sniper, because we're going to have to magnum, so. So, yeah, definitely don't upgrade the sniper, which we're going to do in a little bit. I just want to point that out, because it's in my mind right now. Here I struggle a little bit with these guys. Just uh, try to do a better job of handling them, th those guys than I did. Oh yeah, here I'm going for the storage because I had a first aid spray in there. We gotta keep going. Uh, I believe to the top right of the room here, there's a drawer with a yellow herb in it. Yeah, I was wondering if that was always a yellow herb, but like I don't. I, I can't imagine a yellow hair would be random. And if you... Earlier I, m I mentioned about keeping a key for that drawer there. The one I used in the village section. In the village. When it's uh, when it was night time or whatever. Come on. No problem. You get a gold bar from there. Which I imagine sells more from what you got from the thing from the village. I need you to open it from the other side. 
A little bit, uh, I'm a little bit low on my resources right now, which is kind of okay. It's not... It's open. Like, it, in this game, it's not the worst thing in the world if you're low on resources. The game will usually give you, uh, give the ammo back. Especially if you, if you have zero ammo. And... We're about to enter the Garador cells here, so there's, there's like three shotgun rounds there. Over here, there's also a uh, there's a thing in the ceiling there you can shoot. I forgot like about that. Continue on this way. Make sure you don't forget that. After I after I knife those two uh, board things, whatever, just uh, look up and uh, it'll be there. And uh, yeah, don't forget the shotgun rounds here as well. So uh, the garage door section here. There's a there's a couple of things you can do for this area. Uh, for getting through here. There's a strat with the bolt here, and there's also a strat you can do with a handgun and a hand grenade. So we're, what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna set that there and just run. Just immediately run to the uh to the crank here. Just just look at where I set that down and try to it, it doesn't it doesn't need to be a specific spot. Just needs to be around that general area. And uh this this is an optional. I rec I recommend just go running out of the area or walking to the ladder. This is me just like counting my blessings because the guard or will here. It's actually pretty amazing that I got through all this, like these sections where how many mistakes that I've made. I could have saved so many more heals, but I, I do like to see that these mistakes are a good thing to show in these guides, just to show what, how you can uh, avoid it or yeah, what can go bad. One thing as well here, if you think you can like. Or you can go back down here, you really can't. The guard will come for you here. There he is, coming back. <laughs> I love the, yeah, the music that plays when the guard sees you or you, you make a noise, whatever. Very good uh, sound design. Sweat. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Well, for now. There's a few things you can get here. Come up here, there's uh, two puzzles in this part. Very, very simple. First one here is to shoot three of these things here. This one, the knife it as well. The, they need to shoot like a bird and a snake. And the snake and then the birds in the back there as well. And uh, just grab the, it, it doesn't matter if you accidentally hit that bell there. That was, that was not on purpose. Well, it's just a replica. Only a couple of uses for it. There's also a drawer you can open there. I think I forgot to open that. And yeah, there was a drawer right there, so. But anyway, the rusted sword goes to the bottom right here. And then the bloodied sword goes here. Over here, the gold sword. And uh, yeah, the last sword here. I'm actually thinking back to how much time I'm kind of wasting in this guide now. There's a lot of points in the in this where I stop and just walk around and just trying to think if I forgot something. 
li literally could have cut off like a half an hour plus of this. No problem. And we still have lots of time left, even when we do uh, complete it. Uh, this this was actually kind of a mistake on my part here. I shouldn't have went here to this side. I should I should have went to the other chandelier and then jumped over on that one. It would have been quicker. Leon, are you kidding me? Jumping across chandeliers? Seriously, who does that? Where do you, my mother? But it's okay. And coming up, we're going to make our next save uh, pretty soon. We're first just going to get on here, get this, uh, get this thing here to sell. The, I think it's the hourglass down here. Sells for a good amount. And we're actually going to go back, back up again because we need to unlock the shortcut. So coming up now, the next big section of the game is the infamous water hall. One of the most uh, brutal parts of the game. Mainly because there's just obviously so many enemies around and it's just a mixture of the archers and how accurate they are and how constant they are hitting you. The best way of handling the water hall is just running through it. A mixture of ru running through, uh, yeah, for, for, for the beginning of it, I guess, or until you get to the, to the top part, or when Ashley's turning the cranks or whatever. Everything before that, I th probably the best thing is using a mixture of running through with the shotgun and <laughs> flash grenades. Why not and here we'll make our next save. Uh, this is uh, optional. There is another typewriter which we were Welcome. at there a second ago. You can Ooh. save there if you want to be closer Goodbye. to the water hall. Thank you. And here I upgraded the sniper. Like I was talking about earlier, I recommend not doing this. this kind of just you, just because it's now. not, yeah, it's not going to make a difference. At the time when I was recording this, I was like, you know, it's probably best to get the sniper up because it is super helpful. But overall, yeah, it's not. Not not really ideal. That that money can go to other things like the getting the magnum damage upgraded. Anyway, war whole time. So once you enter, immediately snipe these two guys. The enemies uh, don't start spawning until you walk to a certain point, so keep that in mind. So here I'm just uh, there's a vase in the distance there I'm about to shoot here. This is like optional, you know, if you're not, because the, there's going to be enemies in our way here. So once you run up here, make sure you stick to, to the hard left here. I'm going to time this. I'm going to grab this and stick the hard left there. But if that, sometimes you can't get hit there. It's kind of very specifically timed. So if, you're, if you don't want to deal with the timing of it, just, just for the whole way running up, just stay to the hard left. And you'll be fine. But once you jump, jump down here, grab the shotgun ammo and just immediately run up here. Have the shotgun equipped, and if somebody's like in your way, just shoot them out of the way. Try and just get around. You can, uh, use a flash here. Yeah, I, I recommend like before you click on that, if you throw a flash, just, just in case. Like, I feel like the flash can glitch out if you click on it. You know, you click on the, the thing to turn the wheel while the flash is going off. I feel, I feel like the game will like it just won't register or something. Well, yeah, yeah, from here. So, so here you want to make sure you to just like knock down whatever enemies close to here, and then click, put the wheel in first, and then use the flash grenade. Uh, I would say it's actually be best to not throw the flash grenade up like like I did. Just just throw it like on the ground, like near you, or whatever. And uh, yeah, from here, just like run up to the stairs, the 
getting up to the top of the stairs here is a safe zone. The enemies don't come up here. Or at least they don't attack you when they do. And if actually gets grabbed, like she just did there, use a flash grenade or... If you're comfortable, you can you can snipe the enemy too. And like I said, the enemies don't attack you when they come up here. Uh, like you're about to see here, this guy's like passive. I, I'd recommend just killing him anyway, just in case. I uh, imagine he probably becomes uh, aggressive once all the enemies start spawning in. Once we bring Ashley up here. So the thing to know about the Ashi section here is more enemies spawn in when you kill a certain amount of enemies. So that's that's what will make this this part so much easier. So when the when this segment begins, okay? you want to get the hangar now. Yeah, I, I, and if you're comfortable with the Amy with the handgun, you can kill all four of these enemies with the handgun. But like if you're kind of you kind of just want to, if you're not comfortable with that, I'd recommend killing the first two and then sniping the other two then with the sniper, the sniper rifle. You can't do that too. You should have, I imagine you probably have enough. And once you take out these four, there'll be a guy that comes, there'll be, uh, I think two guys to the left here and then one guy to the right that you want to kill. Right. And, uh, yeah. And from here on, I think there is, I'm trying to think, I think it's like two or three more. There might be two more that you want to kill, but you don't want to kill anyone down below here. This is like, this is a mistake on my behalf. Um, but from here on out, I, I recommend using a flash grenade to flash the enemies that are near you right now. Uh, before I kill these guys there. And then just snipe whoever's like up above. I I believe it's I believe it, uh, it's two enemies that are that are left, and then there'll be one that comes from the right side, and then there'll be one that'll be like near Ashley. It might it might be three. Uh, at the moment, I just can't think exactly how many enemies it is. Um. Okay, get back here. But anyway, regardless of that. You just need to wait for Ashley to say I did it, or if you're watching the bridge, just wait for it to come down. But once she sa Ashley says I did it, that's the segment over. And if this is another, like, sort of safe zone. The enemies, like but you've seen before, the enemies can actually follow you here sometimes, but they're usually, like, not aggressive. And that's the uh, Warhol section. Okay. That The end of that section did look rough, but once you kind of just get how it works with the enemies and how many enemies specifically they need to kill, it's it's really simple. Yeah, let's come up to the end of this chapter here as well. I hear him just crabbing stuff. This chapter here is a pretty, pretty short chapter. It's mostly, uh, just a lot of running. But there is obviously some stuff that can happen. I can end up bad for you or... Yeah, pr probably even dying too. But that's only if you're really just like standing around a lot, I guess. But to start off here, I recommend getting like two or three fish here. Especially the big one. And make sure to get this beetle here. That's uh, in the middle of the, the corner of the wall there. Uh, you can sell this for 10,000. So... It also... Uh, it also increases your health like a yellow herb it doesn't it, I, don't, I believe it doesn't heal you though yeah shoot the bird's nest here too and from here you can get the body armor um th there is another thing you can do as well you can wait to buy the body armor if you wait until you uh, until chapter 10 
In chapter 10, it's on a discount, so, but... It, money isn't a problem, really. Like, for what we're doing, it's not really a problem, but if you want to do it, it's up to you. Yeah. But if you if you want the body armor at this point, it's totally fine, too. Like, even, like, like I said, we bought the... You know, I, I, I bought the full upgrade for the sniper and all, and that's, like, 50k down, so... And I'm still able to get it at this point. But it's, it's still important to point out when things are on discount, because you can use that to your advantage. So you go up here, collect it. Uh, the, that box usually is like four things you can pick up. Coming up here is a red zealot guy. Uh, the strat I'm going to do here is just like to hit him or start off using the flash. It's actually not ideal. Uh... What I recommend to do is actually um, start off by sniping him in the head and then shoot the barrel that's underneath him on the on the bottom floor, and that will actually usually um, that will actually usually make him go to the to the red barrel. We just ram by there, coming up the stairs here, and then just shoot that as you're coming up, and he should be like really low health. When I was recording this, I was thinking to see if the what the what effect the flash grenade can do there, but it's really not not useful at all at that point to start off with it. Well, yeah, the best thing to do is to start off with a sniper shot, quickly shoot the barrel that's like underneath him, and that makes up for, for whatever reason it makes him go up to the other barrel then that we just shot right now. And that'll do like most of his health and then you can like either use the shotgun or the sniper to finish him off. At this point now just do whatever you can to get out of here. Me memorize the area. It can be a bit tricky to get out of here with the design. I guess that was kind of pointless to unlock that door since it's like a shortcut thing so yeah we'll not be coming back here later you, you could come back here later actually was well, probably it's probably pointless honestly anyway we have a puzzle coming up here so you need to grab like three uh, lithographs here first door here if somehow you have a key you can open that yeah Make sure to get this clock from here. I I put like two jewels in here. I uh, like I was saying before. Remember to only I recommend only putting stuff in that if uh, if you have more than one. Because you may at this point definitely save, especially the yellow, uh, the yellow and I believe the red uh, for the for the uh, the crown. Uh, so the lith lithograph puzzle here, the the one at the top is always is is already set in the right place, so you don't need to move that one. Here you can just kind of follow along what I'm doing, but it's pretty straightforward as well. That should do it. All right, need to find Ashley. Like, if you're wondering how it's done, it's basically you're just uh, putting the the border. The border that's around the the helmet or whatever you just want to copy that and put it in the right place and that's that's it like very simple stuff what's well, got a key there uh yeah i guess you could go back and um use on that thing we just opened like at the moment i can't even remember what we used it on oh no no actually yeah i do now there's actually a drawer we can open incoming so make sure you save it for that for the one coming up instead Good thing, stranger. It literally just popped in my mind right oh, there as I was city. thinking about it. And here you can, uh. Not, not really too. Not, yeah, I guess. I guess it's a good idea to come here to repair the knife and the armor. If the Red Zella area was trolling. 
here I recommend to just uh, stand at a distance, pick off those two guys behind the shield, the two shield guys. Yeah, we got the plague as well. <laughs> Here I'm, I'm like attempting just to run around these guys, um, just to uh, go over here, get this, and then after I get this, I'm gonna attack them again. I would say if you're low on shotgun ammo, try and pick them off with the combining a mixture of the sniper and the handgun together. I guess. So if you're following on what I'm doing, do not that lever there because that's going to change like the route that we're doing so, th there is actually like a, a couple of different ways of going through these parts which can involve you know throwing a grenade out a window and it opens up a shortcut quicker that kind of thing but we're just going to do it in a sort of more casual way which involves that uh, just picking off these guys as we go I guess you could probably actually um, ignore killing these these guys here. But yeah, what what we're gonna do here is once we go up to here, we wanna shoot that there, make that fall down and go down here now. You see, if you turn the lever there, originally this will be closed right now, so. Get that box and go back here now. And th this part here, we're just gonna run through. Just come to run to the right here, and here go hard left. And then once you go up to here, go go to the right. There's a lever we wanna turn here. Just just that uh, run through. Hope you, hope you just don't get hit or whatever. Thankfully, we have the body armor, so for the most part, it shouldn't be too bad. Leave it a turn here. Another one here as well. So here we're. So to, to actually progress the game, you need to go up to the stairs there to the right. So this this part here is an optional area, which I do recommend going to because there's a. I believe there's a green a green emer emerald we can get. There's gonna be a couple of arches here, but you can usually just like run past them. There's also uh yeah alongside as well as the emeralds, there's also barrels you can open. <clears throat> Hopefully you'll get a bit of better loot than I got. I, I did get a large resource, that's pretty good. Yeah, here you should be able to just uh, run through. And come up here, the uh, giant will spawn here. Just immediately just run here. I've no idea if you will get hit every time there. You probably, you might need to like stop there a bit before you go. Uh, like if you're, I, th I think the timing of me getting hit there is because of uh, like jumping down from the from where we came from and then going there. Probably that's probably the timing of why I get hit. But once you jump down here, just uh, go back here. And then we need to turn this.
So everything down here is kind of optional. If, if you want to like hurry up, I guess. It's probably, uh, you could just go up the ladder right away. But there is two barrels you can open here, so. This barrel usually has a good amount of stuff in it. And here is where we will use the key. I think this beetle sells for like 12k, pretty, pretty decent yes. amount. Yeah, here, once you, that guy will jump down. I'm pretty sure he jumps down once you shoot the thing, shoot or knife the, you know, these hanging things. And here, you just wanna. Hide behind this to avoid the hit. You can also hide behind the cannon as well, by the way. If you stand behind the cannon and crouch, whatever, you can that will avoid it. This hit as well. And here you can just pick off the enemies. They'll all uh, drop loot as well, so. Might as well just uh, kill them. And uh, yeah, that's like the main gameplay done for this chapter. Very straightforward chapter. I guess the thing that makes this chapter lengthy is the going through those areas because there's multiple ways of doing it, I guess. Sorry. The pathways blocking you and yeah, become like a maze. Speaking of mazes, we have the maze section incoming Ashley, as well. Where are you? On to the next chapter. Can't believe that guy. So here we're gonna make our next save. I would say, um, before you save, make sure to open these vases first. Save a little bit of time, I guess, if you're, you know, if things go wrong, you have to reload. Make sure you get all these barrels and so on. Uh, from here on, you want to open up as much barrels and stuff as possible because you want to get heavy grenades. You want to hope that you get two RNG heavy grenades, if we can, uh, and make sure to save them for the double uh, double Garador fight later on. They are very good for that fight. They'll uh, make it way easier to get through. Hey, look, the flag's been lowered. But anyway, the main section here. We're gonna start off by going this way. This is you definitely want to start off by going this way. Just because I have how it's all designed. If you were to go the other way, you'll have like dog extra dogs like spawned in. All right. You know, by the time you go here now, so I think things just a little easier. Just start after going this way. Get ready to snipe that dog that we just killed there as well. He always like walks like to the side there or whatever, so you can just get a free, a free hit off of him. There, I'm just uh, pre, pre crafting uh, some flash because it's good to just keep crafting as much as you can. Here, you can actually snipe these dogs from this uh, from that gap there while they're in the cage. So, if you want to make this like easier, you can do that. You can avoid getting trolled like we're about to hear. Uh, I'm actually, I assume that that's the dog that I just stabbed there and he probably he didn't, somehow he didn't die. I don't know how that happened, that's usually like an insta-kill.
But uh, if you do end up getting trolled like this, which most likely shouldn't happen, it's actually pretty rare. Uh, the dog would usually come after you when you actually try to progress. So I'm aiming here. I'm going to look away and then walk a little bit forward. Not too much. And like the dog just spawns in now. It's kind of it's kind of weird how that works. Are you okay? There's also another dog that's gonna jump over this gate here to the to the right once you walk forward. Yeah, so once you walk a little bit forward there, he's, he's gonna jump down here. And you can just uh, take him out. Yeah, here we can get the elegant chessboard. And uh, yeah, if for whatever reason you don't get like a random heavy grenade, you can uh, craft them. So you, I think I believe you can buy the recipe once we get to the merchant incoming after this. It, it, it is ideal to get three heavy grenades. Uh, but two two will do as well. Like if you have like two heavy grenades and one regular grenade, that's that's fine too. That'll still leave the Garadors in very low health, and then you can just like pick them off with the sniper. Then yeah, we got the other flag there. Yeah, so I, I got very like unlucky doing this section. I had to fight like a lot of extra dogs, which you can mostly avoid. Here you can like, if you want, you can start by sniping them here. Or you can like throw a grenade there uh, while they're in the cage. W w one thing to be aware of, I've noticed the dogs have an RNG chance of breaking out of this cage uh, sooner than usual. I'm pretty sure it's just completely random. So just be like aware of that and be ready to just take them out. Hold this down. Okay. It's gonna be a dog here. Once you uh tell Ashley to go on that. There's our random heavy grenades. Yeah, when you enter this chapter, it's just a high chance of getting a heavy grenade, so most likely you should be able to get one. And uh, here, <clears throat> here, here's another section that I recommend don't replicate what I'm doing here. It's more of a don't now do this, what I'm about to do here. Uh, basically what I recommend is, when this scene happens here, wait like a couple of seconds before you jump down. And don't like shoot these guys, that, what I'm about to do here. Because this will, this will alert like the dogs in the area. I'm not. I'm not too sure why this dog is here. By the way, this specific dog here really surprised me. I'm still like questioning how he why he's there because that's very like unusual. But uh, like dogs spawn in at the beginning of the area when you when you do this part, and if you if you attack the enemies around where we're general area where we're standing right now, it'll alert them. But you can prevent them from alerting if you. Just don't attack the enemies and just run up to where Ashley's getting grabbed. Because the enemies are like running up to her as well, so. So you can just run with them. And by the time you get up to Ashley, that's when you can start attacking them. So. If you want to make this a lot easier than what we're going through right now, save a lot of ammo and heals. Yeah, I, I ended up having to kill all the dogs in the area because of this. I I guess uh, there, there, I guess there's one downside to it, and that's the the pond is now free. So if I wanted, I could go back and get more fish. You hurt? I be I believe the fish should respawn at the beginning of every chapter, or when a new chapter begins. So if I wanted, I could have went back there since we wiped out the dogs. But uh, yeah, you really, if you do it correctly like I was explaining, you shouldn't even have to fight those dogs at all. Because they, 
must be this way. There's a request here to get all the uh, get a, a few medallions here. I'm not going to do that, but if you're if you're looking to get more, you can. If you want to get more of the spinels, whatever. Yeah, we just collect everything here. We repair the knife and the armor. Look, there's a statue up there. So we have a few things to do here. This first part we can do with the the very well known cheese for this to use a you can either use a grenade or a flash grenade if you're Honestly, if you are like low on the hand grenades, I would say you just use a flash grenade here since it's, flash grenades, you know, it doesn't cost much to make them, so. But uh, yeah, just throw it there before the cutscene and then there you go. And just there. Uh, yeah, go over here. And then way back, just try and. Uh, uh, I would say actually not do what I'm doing right now, I'm only packing with the shotgun, just. Just, just use the flash and try to run out of the area, and that's it. I was thinking, like, it might have been a good idea to flash and kick them like that, but no, it ends up just being terrible. You, you definitely have way, a way higher chance of getting out of the area, for, like, clean. If you just, like, use a flash on the way back and then just run. Yeah, even with everything going on here, you know, we're still going to continue on and, yeah, go through the run with all the resources that we're wasting right now. So much of a hassle to deal with Ashley's AI and so on. And how specific that room is, but really, most likely, if you just use a flash and run, Ashley, you should be good to go. There's another uh, RNG heavy grenade we got there. Yeah, a little uh, puzzle room here. So we're about to run to a chair here. Just like stand at it for a second. So this chair right now there. Just stand at it for a second. I would recommend stopping there but, and then you know, spamming or one. Because sometimes it doesn't work. I think it's something to do with the with the dialogue or something. Looks like we figured it out. Where it sometimes it doesn't work because Leon does like I believe Leon talks when you you know when you're clicking on it. So maybe there's something with the interaction with that. Yeah, don't forget to get to get the serpent head. And coming up here, we have the night room and a bunch of resources we can get. Hey, Leon, this armor. Bet you could use it like a bulletproof vest. J just, uh, I'm just thinking now. Fashion for my taste. I could have had like so much more resources if I didn't mess up that room. I wasted like a couple of flashes and all that. A couple of shotgun shots. Ashley, stay up there. But Percy, I think these. These like hardships or things going wrong are pretty. I think they're actually pretty good for a guide like this. Because even when do things do go wrong, you still can't continue on, depending. Come on, you can't be serious. Yeah, so this part here, you just want to try your best to snipe the tentacle spot. much as you can you so you have, you have a choice here if you're comfortable with the aiming you can try uh you can try like snipe both of them at the same time you actually can just wait for Ashley to bring down the throw down the yellow light or whatever or the blue light sorry It 
it's on a I guess a bit of a timer and I would imagine she would only throw it down when there's actually the night out and there it is limited as well she can only do it a certain amount of times It's just there, uh, picking, picking them off. I, I would say try not to use a flash on every group of them. Just to save a flash. Like if you can just get, get use the shotgun for at least one group of them, that would, I think that would actually make a a good difference. Well, e even if you do, we'll just want to use the flash. It's fine too. It's not gonna be the end of the run, whatever. I don't think it'll like cost you or prevent you from doing that. And like uh, as we go on, as we progress. Here, I'm just gonna si since the the plague is on his back, we're just gonna like circle around until we get bait him out. I believe Ashley has used up all her. Over uh, lantern things. Uh, yeah, but very uh, simple part. I really don't see this part as being difficult, really. Yeah. Nighty night. Nights. Uh, nice catch. Are you sure you're all right? You're not burned, are you? No. Thanks for your help. I really did the trick. And then here there's another rat. You don't think they're gonna move, do you? I believe I actually didn't get the, the final rat actually when I The final rat is on the next chapter. When you can go back to Ashley's section with Leon. In which it's literally right at the beginning of you know where you enter with Leon, so in the uh, hallway. Now that we've done everything, we can put all the uh, items on. Uh, gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> And uh, yeah, here we'll make another save. This will be our next save, just for the Ashley section. I, you know, if if you're comfortable doing the Ashley section, I would say n don't uh, save here. I, I'm just, I'm really thinking of just the times where you can just get one hit kills by the knights. But really, if you're, if you feel comfortable with the Ashley section, I would say just avoid uh, saving and then pick another places to save at. But at the same time, it's more just like like I said, if you're used to it. I designed this guide to be for you know to get anyone through the game for the S plus. And uh yeah so you want to set this to 7 o'clock. This is specific to uh, Hardcore and Professional. Now you notice we set the clock and ran away. Uh, you can actually just go ahead there th through the clock area and in progress. But we're going to go over here and um, yeah, get the key over here. Just so we can get extra... Extra uh, jewels and so on. Extra stuff to sell. A hidden staircase? It must lead to a secret room. Or... Definitely does that uh, cost a bit of time, but it's not gonna be really anything significant. Like e even with all this like extra stuff that we're doing. 
you can still easily get this run done within four hours. Especially if you're, you know, pausing the game when you're trying to think or whatever and not, like, in the menu for so long. Here, you want to use the second key there. And then up here, what you want to do is just run up here and run through this guy. Don't worry, he won't hit you. He, uh, that knight has just, like, done, like, an animation where he knocks down the thing in the way there so he has to like you know align himself again to start going after you so so you, it is very safe to just run there and then, yeah here I'm pretty sure you don't need to like do anything here anything special you just gotta wait for the elevator and go it opens pretty quickly I guess the sort of intended way is to go uh, from the other elevator and that could like get you an extra cutscene but this is definitely the best way you want to go. So yeah, you can kind of pick and choose what one you want to select here. I'm going to go to that one and then go to this one and go through here. And just say run around. Remember that you can use the lantern to stun them make sure to try and not uh, uh well, one thing i've noticed is people like they they tend to like stand still with the lantern for too long that can actually be kind of a little bit dangerous a little bit well what i've been doing there seems to be uh not a problem with getting through anyway the lantern puzzle here I'm kind of doing this out of order, but basically you want to go for the one in the, the back first and then go to the one we just selected right now. And then go to the one we just put on before this one. And that's the quickest way of doing this. Yeah, very straightforward puzzle. This part here is very straightforward, scripted basically. You don't have to worry about getting like hit or anything, you just as long as you're running. S same as this part here. You can just uh, run to the left here and you'll be, be yeah, completely fine. We're gonna go run up just a little bit and then go hard left. Yeah, and then just stick to the uh, left here. Uh, honestly, you can you can actually uh, even go to the right side there as well. You kind of like the knight kind of hits like away from you or whatever. That's not as strict or whatever as, as it looks. This part here, if you're playing a PC and you if you switch the FPS to thirty, you can actually just run by this knight. Uh. I'm not sure if this is the quickest way to do it with 60 FPS or over. Well, yeah, you can just like bait him there, run around. I believe I didn't point out, but I am playing on PC, but it's, uh, the game is at uh, 60 FPS, so. If you're playing on like Xbox, PS5, and all that, it's like very similar. I, I can't imagine it does too much different if you're, let's say, you're playing on PS4. You know, obviously, would be 30 FPS. You probably have a bit more of an advantage on the game, really, where lower frame rate. Some parts are not as aggressive, some of the enemies not being as aggressive. Yeah, by the way, the key to use there is the one on the, the far right. And like I was saying, if you're following the road that I did, you completely avoided going here originally. So it can save like a bit of time. Yes, 
Same as ever. Okay, so we're in chapter 10. Let's go a few uh, things we're gonna do here. We're gonna do a little bit of detouring. You're probably wondering, why are we going here? Well, if you go here, at the beginning of chapter 10, or during chapter 10, it's, um, it like despawns all the enemies that were in before, and it spawns in like sort of new enemies. Which I think there's only like about three enemies that show up here, something like that. So, if you want to get all the medallions, I recommend you wait until chapter 10 here. And uh, come in at this point and take off these enemies. There's also a couple of heals you can get. You can get a yellow diamond. You can, do, you can do this sort of thing a few times in the game where if you come back, you know, to it like later on, like the the fish farm earlier on, you know, where you get the oil. Yeah, that's, that's always an egg. There's also a green herb as well. There's also a flash grenade. On the other end of this part here, there's the other blue medallion, so if you're getting them all, you can uh, get it there. And, uh, yeah, let's just uh, head, head back here. And an another thing I pointed out earlier. Uh, I believe the armor is on a discount in this chapter. Might be on the... No, yeah, I think it's this chapter. So if it's something you want to wait for, kind of decide on that if you want, but it's, it's really not going to be much difference. Got some new ways, stranger. You're in for a treat. Yeah, here you can uh, just uh, copy how I'm uh, moving this here. To open this should be it's the same every time like when you first click on it the puzzle is always like set in a certain spot like you know when you click on it for the first time or whatever so here I'm just like deciding uh, what I want to put in these Honestly, it's prob probably best. Uh, I recommend keeping. Um, m maybe like if you have this, I. I don't think it probably won't have the same exact. Welcome. It's hard to say if you'll have the exact same, you know, items same. as I have here. So. <laughs> Good instinct, stranger. But I'm just thinking that definitely at this point, make sure oh, you have you like one, one color of each like for the know. for the crown. You really don't need to have the exact same stuff that I'm doing here, like the cell. Stranger. L oh, like like before, I was saying that, that like if you didn't upgrade deserves. the sniper, you would have way more money than I have it's right you. now. So, like we have a lot of money here, and I wasted 50k in the sniper upgrades. I still have some new items. You might be see how that feels. Mate. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference. Right? Yeah, here you want to get the Knowledge recipe for the power. the that heavy grenades. The case upgrades. We'll come back anytime. There was also gunpowder you you can buy with the spinels. Yeah, this should make sure that you can get another heavy grenade. And uh yeah. Literally right after you crawl through here there'll be a rat to the to the left here, just running a Boss, you can shoot them there. I just uh, ignore them. It's 
really just uh, optional. Like, I'm not too bothered on the spinels. I don't need to, like, use them all. But uh, once you go in here, run up here just so you can uh, bait this guy. He's, like, standing still, so... The, the, the knights here are very passive. And now uh, we're going to go up here because we can get this uh, assault rifle here. We're not going to use it. We're going to get it to sell it. It sells for... I think it sells for 20k. It's a good amount. So you can just pick it up and then even on the outside of the inventory you can just send it to the storage. So yeah, we're just gonna run through here. Don't worry about this guy here. <laughs> like I was saying, the knights are very passive here. I don't know what's up with their sight or whatever, or how they work, how they aggro. And you literally just need to turn that like once, and there you go. And we can just uh, exit from here now. Nice little shortcut. So coming up here is uh, going to be the Novistador section where you're just uh, but basically just going to be trying to run through. There is some cheese you can do to run through, but before that. I'm gonna snipe this guy to the top here and just pick uh, pick this other one off with the handgun. I'm specifically just shooting up the handgun because I want to save the durability of my knife. So once you go over here, jump back over just to bait these guys here. Don't uh, don't miss these shots here like I'm doing. Thankfully, the Novistadors die very quickly. They don't have much health. And there's a lot of loot you can get in here as well. There's a first aid and so on. So there's a nice little uh, cheese you can do with the Novistador. If you're looking up, up to the ceiling or looking down... It can kind of prevent the novice doors from grabbing you or hitting you. Not, not. It doesn't do it like the whole way through, but it does work. So you can choose to go if you want. You can go like right instead of going straight up here up to the stairs as well, which I do recommend going to the right side first. Actually, it seems to be more consistent if you go here like it is second half maybe. One thing as well, if you want to make this more consistent, is uh, use the flash grenade before you click on this lever. I, I would say purposely just like go up to this while looking at the floor and just go and then just uh, run through here. De definitely I recommend using a flash before you climb the ladder coming up here. Because you can easily get knocked down from you know, kind of a long run. Yeah, so just like climb over here, shotgun like these guys out of the way. I even try and run through as well. And just, just fl I would say just use a flash here as I didn't use a flash here. And just kind of cost me some heals. say just like shoot him out of the way and just look through the floor and go to the lever and then uh, jump down here you can go through there definitely is a better way you can go here if you went to here first you'll be more more consistent there's a 
you can probably get like more loot in the middle of the area when you start going to the other to the other lever. But we got through anyway. So there's a couple of ways to do this part here with the double guard doors. Basically what we're gonna do is is we're gonna alert the guard doors to break out because they're like you know they're stuck to the wall or whatever, so they have to break out with the chains. So you have to either shoot them three times with the handgun or shoot the enemies in the area enough and it'll break through. And then what you want to do is wait. I would say wait about five or so seconds and then shoot the bell. Just to make sure that they're both uh, broken out. And then you want to run to the, to the right side of the area, which you're going to see me do here. I, I, I should have waited more before doing that because this actually kind of screwed with me. If I waited more, both the Gyarados would have went to the bell and I could have just thrown my uh, heavy grenades, but you can kind of see now what, what we're going to do here is we, you can kind of use the enemies as well, you know, to bait them away or shoot them and then they'll go to where the shot goes off. We'll just use whatever grenades you have here. And then, uh, yeah, just like, finish them off. Well, one, one thing to keep in mind as well is, uh, you know the way when you shoot them with the sniper and their flag, it kind of exposes more? If you use a flash grenade, that does damage to them as well. So keep that in mind. But, uh, yeah. I would say doing this strat is definitely the most... Probably just the best way of doing this part because this part can be chaotic. Doing it nearly like any other way. I I do like the idea of starting off when you enter the area of sniping the three guys in the way there. And then just waiting a bit of time. And then just shooting the, uh, the bell. And uh, yeah, once you're done here, just uh, collect everything in the area. There's a good amount of stuff you can get here. But yeah, the heavy grenades absolutely annihilate the Garadors. And coming up here, we're going to be sent down to the section leading up to the Vertigo. This part here is pretty straightforward, but it can be annoying getting through these like uh, slightly invisible Novista doors. Talk about sticking the landing. What the hell? You won't you won't get like attacked or anything here, this is all just scripted and stuff. The first Novisto is going to be just to the left here. You'll see him, but you'll actually see like his eyes glow, but, and then you can just shoot like where you see the eyes, and you'll get him out of the way. And then just everyone through. Oh, somehow, somehow I missed that. Whatever he dropped there, that might have been like a, 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 a sapphire or something. And once you jump down here, just go up here. Just watch out for them as you go. Yeah, once you get to like this little thing here, that's when Edic usually appears. And I think there's like, I think there's like usually like about two more or something. I think I think here I went the wrong way. You're supposed to go kind of go to the, like right now go right. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And of course, make sure not to miss the crown here, very important. I believe I did, I don't have all the jewels that I need to get 100k from the crown. I think I'm missing a, 
a red air jewel. <coughs> but uh, regardless, I think I'll I think I'll probably end up getting like 70k from it, which is uh, still uh, an okay amount. Obviously, I'd still prefer to get the 100k, which uh, it is my own fault because I did use the we, at the beginning of this. After this chapter, I combine it with other stuff, so. Could I could have saved myself a good amount of money. But anyway. The main thing here is you were going to buy a RPG. Just so we can one-hit kill the, the Vertigo. If you're wondering if this is if it's worth it, uh, I'd say it's way more than well worth it. Like I, I guess you can actually choose because I guess it's not that much time difference. Like if you feel comfortable waiting to, for the elevator to come up, you can do that and then use well, the rocket launcher on the on the dynamite stone <laughs> instead of you know going through that whole area with the. With the chainsaw, uh, Bella sisters, and the Salvador, or whatever, you can like avoid that area if you use the rocket launcher. But I'd say it's just best to, yeah, use the RPG here. R it really is just all picking and choosing what you're, well, what you just don't want to have to deal with. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny for that. Yeah, sell the assault rifle as well, free 20k. A deal well struck. <laughs> yeah, I think we're like pretty much uh, done here. Ruby's all rubbish. It's pleasure doing business with you. Anything else I can help you with? Let us know when you've made some room. Well, well. I can certainly do something with this. Where you gonna put this? L you looking back on what I'm doing there, I probably, probably would have a better idea just to craft more flashes. At this point, Not since it would waste up more space. It would use up more gunpowder and all that, so... <laughs> Yeah, our last save was what? Well, just before the Ashley section and all the way up from here, I guess. Gonna make our way up here. And uh, yeah, the most of the areas don't open up here. There's like an extra area that opens up with a lot of loot in it. It doesn't open up until you actually start the spice, so. And uh, yeah, make sure you have the RPG in your shortcut. So you can quickly switch to it. And basically, we will just. Yeah, switch the lever, just run out here, just gonna force them to spawn in. Just grab these, you're going. So, once you like run to here and click the, the switch here, make sure you aim like here and start just start shooting randomly. I've noticed this like consistently makes them more run to you. Because I've had them not like actually like when you press the switch, sometimes he just tends to not actually run to the you know into the thing to get frozen. Probably because the AI is aware of it, you know, but I've noticed if you just aim and just start shooting it can happen more consistently From my uh, experience And uh, yeah, of course just take your time with doing the rock launcher shot you don't have to do it right away Just make sure you, you don't miss Uh, 
And then uh, here, yeah, we get a fat load of loot. I think I got like a couple of heavy grenades and all from here. It is like two heavy grenades I got. There's also loot I missed there. You know where you press the switch there originally? There's a... I think there's like a jewel there and a first aid spray, so... I literally just completely forgot about it, so... So yeah, make sure you grab those. Why help me, though? What's in it for you? <laughs> no need to be suspicious. I said I'd help you, didn't I? All right, so here we'll make our next save. Welcome. I recommend making the save there, bes besides the sale, or after the cha the chapter end there. The Just because, like you know, if something goes wrong, you'll have to do like the beginning here over again. But uh, yeah, I'd say at this point, sell the ball thrower. From here on out, you really don't need it. Thank you. Will that be all? Here you can uh, get a first aid spray to bring with you if you need it. Uh, bring the magnum. I, I would say um, at this point, if you if you have the money, m make sure to have uh, probably at least two damage upgrades in the magnum. If you get at least two damage upgrades, it'll make the double El Gigante fight super easy. Breaks over, I suppose. Welcome. Good is new. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands. Yeah, and he went for one upgrade here. Got a selection of good things Still uh, good enough, sale, but stranger. if you want to, you can literally go for Stocking up while you can uh, two upgrades track. if you like. Even though I'm kind of low on money here, it's still we're still gonna be fine. Like, it, let let's say you like bought you upgrades, you have like nothing on you. It won't like affect the run on you, especially because the strats that we have incoming. Um, so before you do the Krauser fight, there's a strategy that I've been doing. Kind of, I did I didn't do it in this run because I it wasn't a, just never thought of it. But you can sell the sniper rifle. To get the money from it, because you know we've upgraded it a lot, so you can actually get get a good amount of money from it. Um, before the crowds, if I sell the sniper, just to make sure you can upgrade the knife damage all the way to make the crowds of fight easier. But I'll talk about that more as we go. Anyway, as we get here, I recommend just uh, sniping that guy. Snipe him as well. You, you really don't need to like snipe everyone here. Just, just to try and help not get grabbed or something randomly. Well, basically, I would say I would say for the most part, just snipe the force guy that we sniped and then just run up here. And as you, just literally as you get to this door, just throw a flash grenade in here. Just so you stun the Bella sister. If you can avoid uh, kicking her there, that would be Sorry. ideal. Yeah. Need to be a bit careful here that you can they have a kind of a chance of catching up to here but I, I would say they probably have way less chance of catching up if you don't kick them and here we're just waiting for the thing to come down i think it takes about a good 20 20 something seconds and you can throw a grenade there if you want and then uh use the barrel Use another flash, and uh, yeah, once you're going through here, just bring, just equip the shotgun and just run through shooting them. And if the chainsaw guys catch up to you here as you get here, throw another flash grenade. Yeah, if you've already played this game a lot, you, you'll already know how random this game can be. Like, that's even for, you know, the most experienced players. This this game is just meant to troll you, so just don't be surprised if things go, go wrong. Because that's just the way the game is. Capcom have designed this game. 
in a very weird way. For example, look at the Salvador here. It's kind of funny because he's not going to... Well, for one, he doesn't die to that. Thanks, game. And two, he's not even, like, aggroed. You know, they when you come back here, it's it's supposed to be like a safe zone, but sometimes Salvador can come back to you there. But he, should, he usually doesn't attack you. So yeah, doing another fight here. We're gonna yeah, if you have a heavy a heavy grenade, you can throw it, and you're basically just gonna do the same strat that we did before with the first time that you fight him. Just uh, wait for his tentacle to align, and then once he goes down here, use the magnum. Yeah, I'd say like go for two shots and then go away because most likely after the second shot, the Elgigon table start getting up and you're probably just gonna miss the third shot. But if you did get the second damage upgrade, he's he very very low to uh, dying here, so he probably might actually die. But yeah, and if he doesn't, he's definitely really low. And from here, uh, you have two options. You can wait for this El Gigante to walk into the middle and then flash him and then use the switch on him. Or you can wait for the for Lewis to get the dynamite. I would say it's I would say it's better to use the flash because once you're like waiting for Lewis here This guy tends to be like really aggressive and he's just gonna drain heals on you, so But yeah, we're doing it the hard way here. Yeah, like I said, flash grenade when he's in the middle of the area. It doesn't need to be spe specifically in the area. As long as he's kind of like touching the metal parts of the thing that goes down or whatever, he will fall under. Yeah, you can see like he's kind of like... Not exactly there, but it's still gonna work. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty easy fight. This sh shouldn't be too much of a hassle, especially if you have like the sniper and the magnum. It'll just uh, eat through their health. How's it look? Coming up soon, we have uh, sort of the on rail sequences where we're on the carts. But uh, well, what I was talking about earlier about selling the sniper incoming, uh, when I say that, I don't mean permanently sell it. To be specific, I'm saying sell the sniper at the merchant just before the crowds are fight. And then uh, use the money that you got from that to upgrade the knife to get the, all the damage upgrades. And then once you go to the merchant again after the elevator, after the Krauser fight, just before you go to the tower, the clock tower, uh, sell sell that knife now that you just upgraded, and buy back the sniper and get like I'd say probably get like one upgrade because you you don't need the you really do not need the damage upgrades on the sniper like late in the game. It's not. It really is not like the main damage output. So it's re it really is, I would say, a good idea to sell the sniper. And uh, obviously, uh, buy the knife back and I'd say probably get like one or two uh, upgrades on it. For the durability, because uh, honestly, at the same time, we because like we're not designing to. You, you really only want to get the durability up so much if you're actually like attacking a lot of enemies in the game, and that's not kind of what we're doing for this run. You know, we're kind of doing as much as we can to avoid enemies. So, but uh, yeah, at, at the beginning here, just follow along what I'm doing. Here. It's very straightforward. 
the, all, all these rel, uh, card segments are very straightforward as well. Like the the enemy patterns are like always the same. So you can always like, you know, like the way I start off attacking the guy on the left and then the guy on the right. You can just like literally like memorize, you know, what enemies to attack for and so on. It can be like very easy to take hits on this, but as, lo as long as it's just as long as you know which segment is incoming and how to go about it, you can easily do this like no damage every time. But I was just missing shots there, so like for example, after you do that jump there, you attack the first two guys on the right and then the guys on the left. Because that's just how that part's designed. And then after this, you go here, you shoot that guy. And then this guy up above here. So you can uh, memorize all these segments. And then just that. Uh, get those, shoot the switch. Let's see the end of this first part of it. The first part of it is very straightforward. The the second half of it is a bit more difficult, but really, like you can, you it really is easy as well. What what makes it hard is just not knowing like what enemies to attack. That's where it kind of like trolls you or gets you. So here. You can, like, basically you just don't want to be here for too long. I, I would actually say just ignore, like, just kill that force guy we killed and then just go for that. And then just run. The There was a dynamite guy there. I, th I think he ended up uh, throwing a dynamite near himself and he killed himself, so. But just be aware of the dynamite guy. And uh, yeah, to, to be specific, I don't recommend saving anytime around here. It's really not needed. Our next save is going to be before we enter the clock tower, which is like after all this and after the crowds of fight. Yeah, so I, when you get to this part, don't worry about the Salvador at the beginning there, because it's just kind of it's kind of like a, a little bit of a bait. You just want to attack all the villagers around here for now. There's a nice little thing with the Salvador that you can do, whereas you don't want to just spam hits at him. You want to wait for him to start attacking you when he's close to you, and you can basically keep him in a is stunned any time he's trying to attack you or when when he lifts up the chainsaw he is then like you're able to stagger him then with literally just one hit and uh, here try and shoot this that barrel there that will damage the part that the salvador is in if you want to make if you want to like make it easier to shoot a ball if you miss it it's fine too it won't, it won't like make a, a big difference as you're about to see why here Yeah, so here, what you want to do is just wait. And once he starts lifting the chainsaw, that's where you want to shoot. And after that, don't worry about it. He won't, he won't attack you then for a good few seconds. So just stagger him, turn to the right, and shoot those three uh, villagers. And then once again, once you're close to him, just wait. Stagger him. And uh, yeah, you can shoot the uh, villagers again. This time here, you, you want to stagger him twice now. Yeah, 
Yeah, that should be enough. Yes, the yeah, switch there. the yeah, card section like I said uh, the cards actually very very simple uh, yeah here just that uh, shoot these at uh, things just so we can complete the request So this is kind of optional what the hell are you if you want to take these novice doors out here. You can kind of do this like as you're running through the area too if you want. Maybe it might be a better idea to go to the spot in a bit where there's a barrel. Yeah, but basically I'm, I'm just uh, burning through my hand get ammo to take these guys out. They don't really don't take much damage, so, so. Or take so many hits to die. I'm specifically just shooting up the handgun and not using the knife really just so I can save the durability. So I have to uh, like repair. But at the same time it's not even that bad either. It's it's only gonna be like a couple of a couple of thousand. Circle around. Come on. Pain in my ass. Yeah. So watch out for the Nevisadors that are like sort of asleep there. In sort of like a stone form. Well, yeah, yeah, you can get a good amount of loot from these guys. They'll drop a uh, large resource. Some of them do only drop like a hundred pesetas, so that's kind of like obviously not ideal. But they do give you s s sapphires as well. There's two on. There's two hanging on the wall there as well. One there. There's another one over there as well. The last, uh, I believe you can get the first three bulge things that we were shooting on the ceiling. The last one, I think you just shoot from here. I hate insects. Take care of them for me. Yeah, Look just up ahead there. How about you open fire instead of your mouth? Hey, I'm the brains. You're the brawn. There's a couple of the Novisadors that are hiding here at the moment. Uh, usually get a, a sneak attack for. Uh, there's probably one on the wall there that I missed. Yeah, even though we wasted uh, a lot of time in this like whole area, it really won't like matter overall. In the overall run, like if you're looking, if you're looking at all the time we've wasted in this run, easily could have cut off like an hour by doing certain things quicker. I've done a lot of slow menuing and so on. Here we can just uh, 
snipe him. And like I said, the merchant is incoming, so if you're needing the, the catch, you can sell the sniper and just, then just buy it back, like I was saying before. And then once you buy it back again, just before the clock tower, just get it, just get like one damage up on it or whatever. Like if you really want, you probably could get two as well because it really doesn't cost that much. It might help with the the uh, elevator segment of the clock tower. Yeah, just before the crows fight, we go in here. It's gonna be no yeah, this guy always spawns in once you go under here. So the Stratton Tondo here, I actually didn't do it here because it wasn't a thing that I did uh, when I was recording this, so uh, it is actually very helpful. Like like I was saying, the sniper really isn't having the sniper damage up so high at this point in the game really isn't uh doesn't make a difference. Also, by the way, I did I didn't actually save there. That was just a kind of like clicking that by accident because I was adjusting the inventory. Just to be specific, our next save is just before we go up the, or just as we get to the clock tower. Well done, deserves payment in kind. Ooh, what you buy? And I, yeah, here I just recommend s selling everything I have here. Don't Ruby's put any of the, makes no difference. the any of the jewels into those. Just just sell them. That's our choice to make. I would say yeah, uh, keep keep whatever you can because there is another crown we will get at the beginning of the island. So. You can like save uh, some of the jewels for that. I'll pay a pretty penny for that. Crossing your T's, dotting. See how that feels, mate. Fella like you. And uh, yeah, make sure you get the knife damage up. Right. I, I recommend trying to get it up to it to like all, all is if you can get the firepower up all the way, that would be Got ideal. Good things on sale. Like get all the damage upgrades. Now? You know, l looking back at this, there's a lot of things I wish I didn't do, like getting the durability up on the knife so much, it's not really needed. Like, f for an S for an S plus run, you really only need, like, one or two upgrades. Like, even just one upgrade. Honestly. But, uh, yeah, we do this fight and then sell the knife afterwards. Because we don't need to damage up so much in the knife. It's just for the Krauser really fight. So the Krauser fight is very tricky and it is very random. This is nothing what, what I actually recommend is actually aiming for his... Uh, around his chest and his legs. Somewhere around there. I, I, I've noticed it tends, it tends to be more consistent. Um, and try not like spam your hits so much. Try and do like hits and stop for a second and go again. And obviously, you want to get used to the the parrying. You don't need to be perfect at it. Like I'm, I'm taking a lot of hits here too. So uh, honestly, if you can, if you can get the the evading right, you you've basically already won the won the fight. Honestly, and of course, get ready for holding down X or whatever when you get grabbed like that. And make sure you get all these kicks in. The kicks that do do a lot of damage. So. But uh, yeah, basically having the armor and all should mostly carry it through the fight. Yeah, that's the uh, Crows of fight. <laughs> you won't get away with this, Krauser. All right, so chapter twelve. This is the yeah. This is the end of the castle now. Making our way up to the clock tower. And of course, uh, make sure you grab the herbs and so on that are here. There's like two herbs here. I think there's like one one knife in the area. And like I was explaining a few times before, this is the point now where 
you want to uh let, let's say you went with the strat i was explaining with sell, with selling the sn sniper at this point here you can buy it back from the merchants same as uh sell the knife here as well just so you can get the money back from when you used all the damage upgrades for the knife and just buy uh, both of them back or buy the knife back but yeah uh, yeah before we do that we're gonna take another little small detour here Ooh, breaks over I spot. I noticed they I got extremely lucky with the uh, magnum ammo drops in this run Which at the same time is not it's not gonna make a difference if you know you don't get the magnum ammo that I got. I uh because I got because I got so much ammo I decided to use some of it on the elevator going up the clock tower. At the same time you can still use the sniper too. So Make sure you go back here. We can get another golden egg here from the Salazar's uh, room. Uh, yeah, this part here you can choose to pick these guys off. I, I would say if you don't waste the time, just just run through and use a flash grenade as you go. I I, I imagine the flash grenade will kill the plagues, so and then you can just run through the enemies. It's a, it's actually probably a much better idea because. I did use a good amount of ammo here, and you wanna you wanna try save as much ammo at this point for uh, going up the clock tower, because you gotta you gotta fight all the enemies as you're getting to the elevator segment. You know you're gonna you be using a good amount of ammo on those guys, and then obviously going up the the elevator as well. Here, just uh, collect all the the loot from these. So uh, here, yeah, you can get another golden egg. You're gonna use these for Salazar. The golden eggs do 70% of Salazar's health, so hitting them twice, specifically uh, hitting Salazar himself. Yeah, you'll uh, kill him with both the eggs. It can be kind of tricky hitting Salazar, it's, a, it's kind of a specific uh, shot, but the general thing to keep in mind is that you want to be kind of aiming a bit high. You don't want to like be aiming at his body, kind of if you aim for like sort of his head, you know, when you're actually throwing the egg, it'll kind of land on his body then. You can see the way that the aim is kind of curving there. Also, I would say, personally, I would say to save that egg, by the way, the normal egg. Unless you really want to get the... I don't even know how many uh, things you get from doing that quest, so... Uh, this is another thing I'm kind of regretting that. I probably actually should have just saved that egg for, you know, going up the elevator. Just so I can have an extra heal. So I'm going to be back here. There's, there's a herb there in the middle of the room. Oh yeah, watch, watch out for the... Yeah, I actually missed that herb because they, that guy attacked me. So when, you, if you're, when you're running back here, just be aware of him and shoot him. And then just quickly grab the herb and run. Oh, I see you took care of a request. Well done. <laughs> well done. Yeah, You've so you proven get, yourself reliable. You get four of them. What are you buying? We well, like one thing to keep in mind as well, when you get to the <laughs> island, you can't uh, go wrong with that. There is an infinite amount of uh, velvet blues you can buy from the merchants, so 
I don't always have this in stock, stranger. You can get about like, if you have about fifteen of the of the spinels. Um, it can it can get you around. I think about I think it's about forty k, forty five k, something like that. What can I next time then? Say this. Also, we just made our next save there. Uh, this is kind of a choice thing. You can save here or after this. There's another typewriter coming up right after here, so. There's the clock tower. You know, if you don't want to spend the extra time, you know, if you end up resetting here, you can also uh, make a save here too. Yeah, so coming up here could be one of the most annoying parts of the game. The enemies are can be pr pretty annoying to take on here. The guys with the sights and all that. Well, we're basically just gonna go be going with just attacking them here, mostly with a mixture of the shotgun. Shotgun, sniper, and the handgun. And uh, yeah, open the barrels, go back here. You can get a thing here to sell. Gold bar. And uh, yeah, do, do your best to not to try and not waste so much shotgun ammo and so on here. You want that? Try and have as much for the the elevator. Kind of, uh, kind of annoying how they made it so like you can't just easily, you know, shoot them in the head with the handgun and then kick them like you can the original. And I believe it's not even, even if you upgrade the damage all the way, it's not even like 100% consistent that they'll, you know, they'll stagger. I mean, once you get to here now, shoot the the red barrel at the behind the statue head there. So you can avoid the the flames. And once you uh, run close to this guy here with the snipe, the guy is gonna spawn behind us with a scythe. So uh, be wary of him. He's, he's coming like running up to us right now, so. I would say I would say no I would recommend trying to not parry him. I got I got lucky there with the parry. <laughs> I kinda at the time I kinda forgot that he was there coming from me there. Alright. So you can either like pick off these guys like this or like at this point here you can kinda like run up and as you, as you get close to these guys I just shouldn't grenade that. You could flash grenade them as well and just run around them. But you really want to, you want to do something like that if you know, if you know exactly where all the enemies are and how they're placed and how to get around them. Because you know you have the cutscene that'll pop up with the guy that's bringing down the uh, the giant ball. That is a uh, one hit kill. And here we're just uh, picking off these guys. I'm choosing to like do this because I think it's better to have them come to me. Or at least when I first picked off the guys there as they ran to me. So yeah, we'll just take our time here. Welcome. And yeah, watch out, there's a guy here that's gonna be 
Yeah, this, this guy here will always try to grab you. He's designed to grab you, so, you know, the ball will then, like, one-hit kill you. Because it's, like, sort of a, a long animation. For, for the most part, it's def I'd say it's better to craft sniper ammo. If you're like, if you're constantly when you're on the elevator part, if you're when you're if you're constantly like looking around in a circle, you can kind of actually pick off the enemies before they actually go onto the onto the elevator. Yeah. Uh, so you want to like doing like a mixture of. Shooting the, the red barrels as the enemies get close to them. One down. And then sniping the enemies as well. And kind of use the shotgun as a backup if they do end up jumping on the elevator. And another thing is the red the red zealot guys. And once you go up to here, more enemies are going to spawn behind us. So be aware of those. I'd say like use the use the lever there like twice or whatever and then just go for this now. So, sometimes they do tend to like try and hide but yeah they try to like cover there. But uh, yeah go back and uh, get the uh, loot from these guys. It is kind of uh, hard to predict this elevator segment. Uh, you can, like, there is a, like a group of enemies that spawn in together, like three of them together, and there's something like as it goes on, you know, you'll have like one or two of them pop down. Uh, but at the beginning of the of this segment, a red zealot guy will spawn like just as at this that little spot right here that we're gonna be looking at when we press this lever. Here you can, uh, if you if you feel comfortable with your aim, you can use the magnum here. You can see I missed the shots there. I, what, what I would, I would say the best thing to do is, uh, is the second you turn the lever, get out a heavy grenade and have it ready to throw. So, because you'll have a bit of time to like adjust the aim where you, where the grenade won't bounce off the the bars or whatever. Not, not attacking that guy like at the beginning there is what cost me everything here. Like if I if I got rid of that red zealot guy and missed those shots, this would have went so much better than me. And uh, one, one thing as well, make make sure you have at least two sniper rounds finishing the uh, this elevator segment because there's gonna be two archers after this. I think I meant, yeah, I messed up this throw here. Just, uh, if, if you're planning to throw it there, you don't, you don't actually have to actually attack him there. There's a spot where he, he stops that. You can also wait for him to run to that too. And then throw the heavy grenade there. Flash, 
I'm like kind of running out on our resources here. I'd say probably the most dangerous enemy from here is the there's an archer in the area. If you can like take him out, this like getting to here should be like way easier. Or even if you're at this point now where the elevator is just about to come up, you can usually avoid the archer. The amount of uh, the amount of grabs I've gotten in this segment. They, they definitely did that intentionally because really all this part is just designed to waste your time so more enemies can come in and so on. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned it before but... It probably is actually best to get at least one sniper upgrade if you did uh, rebuy it again. It should be enough. So we have the Salazar fight coming up uh, pretty soon. We're going to go to this merchant spot for us. There's actually a bunch of items you can get there. But I, I actually, uh, I actually did a. You, you probably won't believe me, but I actually did something intentionally here with this fight. I bought I brought both the eggs, but I wanted to do a scenario where, cause cause it is very kind of easy to miss the shot. So my, the strat, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna intentionally miss the first egg, and then I'm gonna show, uh, you know, in case of emergency, in case you do miss the first egg, there is another chance you can use the egg again, and then. Basically what that means is you have to use the Magnum as well, in which, if you do have two damage upgrades in the Magnum, it'll take an egg and six uh, shots. And the whole time you stagger from the egg is more than enough time um, to uh, kill him. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Six, six uh, body shots, I'm pretty sure, is, Thank you. is more than enough to uh, get the last of his health. It should be way more than... Yeah. Uh, Good luck to you. Thirty percent. Might want to take care of any leftover errors before going. But b basically, when when the fight begins here, you want to run forward and stop, and just get get your aim ready and aim up a little bit high, and kind of just adjust to his body. <laughs> up there and then yeah like I'm, I'm aiming way too low there so what happens if you fail this now you just don't do anything just wait let him run away he usually does uh, uh I've, I've practiced this a few times and I've had him like three times uh, eventually come back to me here and try and like grab me or whatever but during this you can attack him again And, uh, yeah, he should be just, like, right there. There he staggered. Now, I, I only have one damage upgrade on the Magnum. So... I'm not even sure if that, uh... And you can see you can get extra hits there as well. When, uh... When Salazar gets really low health, he does that extra animation. So you have that window when he's staggered from the egg, and then he does that little growl, or the, the screech, whatever he just he does there, to get uh, extra hits in. But like I said, if you have two damage upgrades, uh, an egg and six shots should kill him. Because uh, I think I only literally need to hit him once, well, one body shot with the sniper and he's dead. 
Yeah, there we go. But uh, yeah, just just don't uh, fail the first egg here that I did, and you'll kill him with both those golden eggs, and you will save the magnet memo as well. That's gonna be the ideal thing, boy. I thought I thought it'd be a good idea to have a backup on this because I'm thinking of like where I made the last save. It's kind of annoying to. You know, let's say you fail, like, let's say we only got one golden egg and we fail it. You have to re reload now and then do the elevator segment again, so. I'm thinking of just trying to get as many backups as possible. And th another thing I didn't do in this run that I recommend is, uh. W once you get to the crows are fine. Just before the merchants, so I would recommend selling the the magnum and then buying the killer seven. I believe I just didn't do it because uh, we because we will be rocket launchering uh, the final Krauser fight. We will just uh, rocket them just because uh, yeah, it's just the best way of doing it for this kind of uh, guides. I'll see. But away, I wreck. Yeah, I, I thought I could have just run around the bar. Uh, d don't do that. Just just walk away and bait, bait out and attack and just run around them. Yeah, so we just run around the night. Uh, there's another night here. But just uh, walk to the right here. And uh, open this, uh, this barrel here. Those barrels usually have like a couple of things in them. Another barrel here to the left. And that's the... This is the end of the castle Perfect. in this chapter. Won't have to swim after all. And we're almost there. Our next save is going to be at the be beginning of the island here, by the way, so. Alright, so as we make our way to the island, we're going to make our next save incoming. There's going to be a merchant incoming. There's gonna be a little small little extra area here too that you can that we will go to get some extra loot. I think there might be a, a gem or something there too to pick up. But before you do that, make sure you go to this little spot here to press this uh, switch here. We need to do this to progress. You're gonna be pressing those a couple of times coming up as well with this uh, next section. Wow, the game really loved to just give me magnum ammo. I'm very surprised we got so much. I have some new goods that might interest you. So at this point here, there's well, not really uh, too much to do here. It's more just selling what you have here. Uh, if, if you want, you can buy the the next uh, upgrade uh, case. Good luck to you. I would personally say only get the upgrade case here if you, if your inventory is like, if you have a lot of stuff in your inventory and it's like full, I'd say definitely get it. I, I, feel, I feel like at this point in the game you probably don't need that big of a case. Maybe I'm wrong. But I, I'd say you could probably get away with buying it anyway. Especially if you're going to use the... The uh, the spinels to get the velvet blues. But anyway, just uh, follow along what we're doing here. Just uh, stealth kill that guy. Come up here. Just kind of like take your time and turn this. I would say try not sprint up here. I've I've, I've not I've gotten sighted here uh, before, like because I was like sprinting around here. But even though even though the enemies don't hear your footsteps, but maybe they see me like running around or something up here. But here you can just uh, slowly go through here. Uh, now the thing about this section is, it's actually not too bad if you get sighted too early. But basically you just want to try and avoid getting sighted as quickly as, or as 
the, the later you get seen here, the better, basically. But if you do get seen early, immediately just run up to the switch we're about to run up to after here. So we just got sighted here, so what we're going to do is we're going to run up to this guy here and just shoot him just so he doesn't matter us. From the switch here. And uh, if you do get sighted like around the same spot that I did, that's, that's very good. Like that's basically kind of perfect, honestly. But anyway, just uh, run through where we're running to and just go back around here. And now this spot will be uh, open for us so we can uh, escape. Not too uh, bad of a section. And if things go wrong, like you have you have your body armor and all that, so that should probably like help you as well. Here just try and like run around these guys. Don't worry about him, he usually you can usually just run by him. I think that guy has to run to a certain spot before he starts uh going to grab you or whatever. And uh, here, don't, don't worry about that guy there. Here, you just want to stand here and we're just going to snipe this guy with the rocket launcher. He's usually standing there. And immediately after you do that, just uh, shoot these boxes open if you want. I guess if you want to, you can probably run up and just knife these too. But, like, hanging ammo really is not an issue. So, probably best to just, uh, yeah, shoot them open and go. Just the off chance that you might get ammo from them. And uh, yeah, use the barrel on those guys, just run around them and go through. That's where they're keeping Ashley. And here with this part, there is another crown that you can get here. So if you've been saving your your jewels, yeah, I yeah, highly recommend uh, going here too. If you've been better at saving the jewels than I have, like you might. I'd say there's probably a chance that you probably get another 100k. I've done a, like a really poor job of saving mine, so. Anyway, I'm just gonna try and uh, just trying to like snipe these guys as much as I could. Well, I would say just snipe the rock launcher guy and then just try snipe whoever else you can in the head, and then uh, use the flash grenade. N another thing as well you can kind of do is use the sniper to shoot them in the leg, uh, just because like. It can increase, it can help like them uh, falling on the ground so you can stab them like that. Whereas it's going to really happen with the handgun on this difficulty, but you know, shooting them with the sniper because of the firepower, it can kind of help make that easier. I guess I was mostly doing that because that, that guy had a helmet on. But yeah, o overall, it is better to go for headshots. Particularly just to try and like kill them more rather than trying to get a stagger. So yeah, disarm that. And you go in here just that. There's, there's more magnum ammo for me. Yeah, here, once you go here, don't worry about this guy like seeing or anything. He'll just walk by there and get a stealth kill. And then after that, just walk to the end of the door here, but don't go inside. Just like stand here and just wait. You will, you'll see the guy here that's, there's, there's like a guy that's patrolling in the middle of the room. If you just wait here, you'll eventually see him. And then just, uh, once he pops up here, like so, just uh, wait for him to turn around again. And the second you see him turn, just uh, run in and stealth kill him. This is just sort of the alternate way of doing this, unless, unless you want to go in and just shotgun them or something and kill them. We're not, we're not like, you know, if, if you're following everything about, you know, ways to save time, but not keeping the game open when you're not supposed to, whatever, like, you don't have to worry about time. So th these segments where we're waiting and, and kind of waiting or wasting time, it's not, it's really not going to affect you. To, to my left there, before we just exited the room there, there is uh, another barrel you can open, by the way, if you want to get that too. Anyway, after you skip the cuts in here, just immediately run down here and just uh, just go for the ladder. 
you shouldn't have to worry about that guy uh, hitting you. Also, another thing, before I enter that door, if you go to your right, there's also a herb there that I maybe uh, forgot about. So uh, make sure to get that too. And uh, you can just run by these guys. These guys won't attack you right away. So just run around them. Open this uh, yeah, this trash uh, bin there. There's a uh, hand grenade in there. You can uh, shoot him if you like. If you if you run up and stick to the uh, like hard left, you'll be able to just run by this guy. But does it like doesn't really matter. Hello, stranger. And uh, yeah, you can basically like you just want to use this merchant for um, just repairing. Here, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to, like, enter the menu to adjust the but like, it's kind of, like, awkward. I think you're supposed to, I think it was, like, you know, secondly, the case. I was trying to see if I could, uh, I was trying to see if I could, like, you know, uh, craft stuff. Yeah, but all, 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 all the stuff that I've been recommending as well earlier in the run, I, I imagine you probably will have more money than I have as well. But, uh... Yeah, but basically, like, as we go here, the main thing you want to know is that, obviously, you, you want to have 160k for the rocket launcher for Krauser. And then, uh... Either... I either get like a third damage upgrade for the Magnum we have now or buy the Killer 7. And then get like an upgrade or, an upgrade or two for that if you, if you can. Actually I would say you probably just get one upgrade. It probably isn't worth getting more than that. I want to make sure you have money but when you do get to the when you do get to the merchant just before the Krauser fight m make sure you you um you purchase the rocket launcher first before doing anything like that. The rocket launcher is what, what you want to make sure that you have. I'm just putting stuff in that. So I believe, what's the combination for this? I think it's uh, moving it three times. That one there and then twice for these two. So three, two, two. And then there you go. And go into the card key, and then once you go over here, just uh, I'd say it's probably better to body shot him there because I think it's better to body shot him there and then leg shot him as he comes in here now. And uh, yeah, that that gold ingot sells for I can't don't even know how much it sells for honestly off by heart, but definitely sells for a lot. Just make sure to get that. And then, yeah, just turn the switch over. And of course, make, make sure you're following everything I'm doing, like, before we, you know, entered everything there, like, when I turned the switches there beforehand. This one here is, uh, I think it's 3133. Uh, so this is optional, but we're getting it because you get a, you get the Eddie 5 here and you can just uh, send it to storage and sell it. Yes, wait for them up from there. So we're waiting for the car key to process here. Obviously, we're just just a waiting segment. What you want to do is just shoot him in the leg. Uh, I've I've seen I've seen it where like sometimes when you shoot the the leg, like sometimes it just doesn't decapitate. I have no idea why that happens. I've had, I've had that happen a few times where you just shoot them and just like nothing, nothing happens. <laughs> But if that happens, just uh, 
Basically, you just want to run up and down, you know, through the room. And that's like kind of like the best ways to uh, avoid them or try just trying to generally waste time. If, it, if you get grabbed like once or twice, it's, it's fine. And then here, you have a choice to go back to the merchant again if you want or just go uh, on here. I would actually say yeah, uh, go back because the, the the chickens will usually drop an egg. What can I do you for? And uh, yeah, you can repair the armor. If, you know, you got hit a lot, or whatever. And on your way back, watch out for the regenerators. They will come after you here. Once you go through uh, this door here, this is when they stop following you. There's more magnum ammo. Just, just uh. Just to my right right now, there is a glass thing you can break and you get uh, gunpowder from that, so keep that in mind. I think I uh, didn't get it. Know about it at the, at the time. And uh, here you can just uh, pick off these guys, use a hand grenade if you, get, if you have it. If you notice, I'm like, pause. there's like a thing with the grenades where it, it seems to help if you pause buffer. So when you throw a grenade, just spam the pause button until you see the explosion go off, and it usually helps the grenades be more consistent because the the regular grenades are really bad in this game. But it's like it's like copium. Where we're thinking, oh, it, it helps. <laughs> Got more magnum ammo there, shockingly. Thankfully, it really isn't gonna matter, especially if uh, if you actually did kill Salazar with both the eggs. It really doesn't matter if you're not getting all this magnum ammo that I'm getting. It's not gonna make a difference. Like you would have saved the six six rounds, or whatever. Yeah, just make sure you have room for the bioscope. And yeah, just look for the one that has the the wrench. And uh, yeah, make sure to align so you can shoot two of them together to make it easier. That was actually risky because I probably could have shot the other uh, capsule as well. Yeah, and here you can just like pick off this guy. Just keep going back and forth here until you uh, get a shot off of him. And there we go. Pretty, uh, pretty easy segment. So incoming now is another processing thing you gotta wait for um so there's like a couple ways you can do this you can uh once the segment begins i recommend immediately running out the door once you put the card in just immediately turn around and uh, use a flash grenade and throw at the enemies so like, go to here throw a flash and then like shoot at them try making them explode and then probably like pick off this guy if you want now i'm gonna like him try and pick off all these guys here another thing you could do as well after after you stab that guy that we just stabbed you could throw another flash grenade and then just run back to the room uh, where the card is processing because i'm pretty sure by that point the other guy will uh, blow up as well and you could probably just get the card key and leave without actually having to kill all these guys and then just uh, run around them but if you do want to pick them off you can uh, just like do what I'm doing here too. And uh, yeah, that's the key card segment. Not too bad, and my another thing as well, my armor saved me there from that explosion. 
I imagine I probably would have died if I didn't have the armor. And uh, yeah, let's go save Ashley. It's the end of this chapter too. The enemies that were here before are also uh, despawns, so don't need to worry about them. Alright, so for the beginning here, make sure to just immediately go here first, because we gotta wait for Ashley here, so takes her a bit of time to get this door open. So while she's doing that, just go back here now and pick off, or get everything here. Get a fish with a free heal. A couple of stuff here, you can get a thing here to sell as well. The pretty lengthy segment incoming, and we're also going to make our next save here, too. So, uh, yeah, make sure you. Uh, I, I would definitely recommend saving once you, like, yeah, sorted here. Not really anything important here, it's just that uh, getting those repaired. There was also a drawer to the right that I just ran by there. Make sure to open that too. Another thing I forgot about. So then coming here, these sections are just kind of just just uh base taking out a bunch of enemies here. We'll start off by just uh, opening this. You'll get a gold bangle from there. If this guy's like walking up here, you can get a stealth killing them. I'm not, I'm not sure if these if these guys' pattern are gonna be like this every time you get here, but yeah. If you're not able to just get them like this, you can just like shock on them, or whatever. I think there's uh, one more guy. Yeah, there's this guy here that's waiting at the stairs. A few uh, boxes you can open in this area. So coming up here, I believe there's a herb to the. When you go to the top of the stairs here, just turn right, and I believe that I believe there's a herb there. And then once you go inside the room, just uh, go to the. Or just go to the left there, and there'll be an enemies here that you can that you want to attack. Yeah, I recommend just like immediately go in, snipe him, and then just throw a grenade. Just uh, try and pick off these guys. Uh, yeah, it is a thing we can shoot here too. On. Got cocky for a sec. And coming up here, we have a lever that we need Ashley to 
hold on to while we go unlock this door from the other side. And while this happens, it's gonna be enemies that are gonna spawn in. Of course, uh, make sure to grab all this first. I'd say the best thing to do here is to just maybe run through and then once you like unlock this door, just just like immediately attack these guys here. And uh the guy that that gets actually here usually jumps out through the window here coming up that we're about to run to in a second. So you can attack them for a second and then just like go over here and then just get a free stealth kill on this guy. Here we can just pick off these guys now. The segment incoming here too is there's gonna be a guy at the top of the stairs here waiting for us. You just like snipe him if you plague is just finish him off the sniper and then after that, I'd say the best thing to do is what for for the part after that is to just uh just use a flash grenade to run by all the guys that are about to spawn soon when you run up to these stairs. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start off by throwing a grenade and then trying to pick them off. I think I, I believe I use a flash as well. But you literally can't just, um, like the, the second you get up these stairs, just throw a flash and you'll be able to just run around on them. The door that you run through here is a, like, a safe spot, so. I would imagine, I'd imagine there's probably no chance that Ashley would get grabbed if you use the flash and run through. Since it's a pretty short run. Also a box in this area too. Coming here, there's a yeah. emeralds you can get. Green, a green emerald, I believe. Yeah. Coming up, we have this uh, regenerator that has sort You're of like two time. phases now. Yeah. Got it. The regenerator is like starts okay. uh, turning into the. the the spike, spiked up uh, regenerators now. The Iron Maidens. Uh, so you can just uh, choose to pick them off if you're comfortable as well. If you have actually Witcher here, you actually can just run up to the switch and complete the puzzle. It's very, the, the timing on it is very tight. Usually by the time you complete it with Ashley, the regenerator will usually hit you. But then you can actually just progress forward and the, the regenerator won't follow you through the door. So. If you're comfortable with doing that, you can do that too. But uh, other than that, you can just uh, take them off here too. Depending on your aim and how lucky you get with the shots, so you can do it pretty quickly. But well, you can also get trolled like this when he starts uh, crawling all over the area. This is very annoying. the armor will carry us here from these hits. And another thing to uh, keep in mind as well, I probably should have found this out a bit earlier, but if you have like uh, heavy grenades, make sure to save them. Die, you stubborn 
son of a bitch. For a segment incoming soon. But uh, yeah, once he goes to this, just uh, try and get headshots on him. Just uh, keep running in circles until you get the right spot, the right shot. Where he's not like sprinting the whole time. If you're having like a... If he did do the upgrade thing I was talking about earlier with the sniper, I would say probably, uh, if you have a reset here or whatever, I would say upgrade the sniper. Get like Come one on. damage upgrade. No if you, let's say you had a one damage upgrade after buying it again. Probably worth getting another upgrade just to get the, yeah, get the last or the second phase, plug it on. Yeah, we have the sewer section uh, part here. It's also a uh, you can kill uh, a couple of rats in this get area this as well if you want. I'm not going to bother with. At this point in the game, you really don't need to do any requests. So this part here, the, the trouble with this part here is you need to know how this part works with the enemies. So when you press the switch, and then you know, enemies start spawning in and they're they're designed to run after Ashley and grab her, so you need to either flash to like flash them like through the these little gaps here or snipe them as they're running. This is sniper ammo here. So, uh, remember the regenerator doesn't activate until you walk up a bit more, so. But here, just try and throw the flash there. S sometimes the flash might bounce off the, the bars. And it won't actually flash them. And keep in mind, do not flash when you run around here, because the flash will stun Ashley as well. And that will drop the thing, and you can't run by then. So that's why it's important to flash uh, at that point. Ashley, damn it! You can as well, if, if, if you time it right, you also can, like, immediately run around. Like, the second you press the switch, if, if you, like, immediately run, you actually can make it, like, over, but you want to be kind of ready with the shotgun to shoot the guy as you're running up. Like, the second you come into view of them, you need to be ready to shoot him with the shotgun to stagger him. Before he grabs Ashley. I think what's I think the puzzle there is uh, I think what was it? Two one zero two, I think. Something like that. You can just like shoot those guys once as you go through there. They usually block it and hit you, so. And uh, at this point here, you just want to have uh, two heavy grenades. And if somehow you don't uh, have like at least one or... Let's say you have only one heavy grenade. I, I, what I would say do is just use the one you have. And then uh, open all the boxes in the area. Because you might, the game might, might actually give you a heavy grenade. No There's a lot of boxes in the area in there. They're, it's, they're designed to give you like a lot of good loot. So, but imagine that. I would imagine you would have enough um, either gunpowder to craft another one, or maybe you got some RNG heavy grenades earlier. Okay, Here I'm kind of, it's kind of pointless for me to like do all this now, but I guess it's whatever. I really actually should be doing all that, like, I'll once I get the, to to the merchant before Krauser. 
come back any so if you want to save a bit of time here once you like jump down here uh you can activate this cutscene here a bit sooner to activate the segment here you usually there's another cutscene here where leon and ashley will look at the the broken wall or whatever but if the second you run down here if you run right to the to the crane leon. you'll activate this cutscene and skip that that cut cutscene before this cutscene and then once the segment is just immediately turn around and if you want you can wait a second to throw these just maybe you can hit them the enemies as well uh to be specific you do only need two you do only need two heavy grenades and that's it and that'll still break down the well, one thing as well i recommend that i didn't do here is uh once once uh actually breaks down the wall immediately go for the immediately go to the lift and bring it down because it takes a bit of time to go down but at the same time at, at the same time it kind of doesn't matter because once you kill the enemies you can just um just go to the elevator and put it down and then go collect all the loot usually by the time you collect all the loot the elevator will be down But uh, yeah, you don't need to do this whole fight, in case you're unaware. The grenades will break the other wall too. So just have two heavy grenades. Okay. And just uh, call Ashley there. Or I guess you don't even need to do that, you just need to press the switch. Yeah, there is a lot of good loot here. There's a flash grenade there, make sure to get that. Some more boxes here too. I'm so glad the grenade strat actually works there to bring down that wall quicker. Because that part will be just so annoying to do uh, on an S plus rank run. Literally to my right there, uh, there is another one or two boxes to open in, in that room he just jumped over. So if you want an extra barrel or box to open, there is there is like a call. I think there's two of them there. Might, might be just one, I can't really remember, but yeah. Here there's a thing you get to sell, another crystal ore. Before we do the crows of section, we got this part here. Um, you can cut if you want. You can actually like avoid these enemies too, or just run around them. But what if you want to do that? I recommend going into the room behind me right now. There is a heavy grenade in the drawer, so there is like get all the loot in there, and then you can just like if you want, you can just run around these guys. I don't want to spend so much time like hitting them here, shooting them. Wasting all these ammo on them. Just def they I imagine they stop following you once you run through the, the tent and all that, so.
But yeah, even even with doing everything we're doing this run, like attacking all these enemies, we're still making a uh, like okay time. Oh, we still have we still have a lot of left overtime, I should say. That was what TMP ammo. You can get that too if you want to sell that. Here, you just want to grab this uh, first aid, and there's uh, a few more boxes here to open. Coming up here, I, I believe I purchased uh, another case here, so. We definitely need a. See, so yeah, the main thing you just want to make sure you're buying here is the rocket launcher, which you definitely should have more than enough if you're following along. Everything we're getting and so on. Yeah, the for, for the rest of the game, the Killer Seven is definitely better than the the Magnum we have right now, just because of the aim. Just having the laser sight and all that just makes it so much easier. Anyway, we're gonna make our next save here. Uh, if you're comfortable with the beginning of the Krauser fight, I'd recommend actually saving in the middle of the Krauser fight too. That's another thing you can do if you want. Halfway through the fight, there's a typewriter. If you played the game, you'll know which one I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, we're gonna make our next save here. And uh, no, nothing. So we're gonna start off this fight here by sniping Krauser twice. Um, and one thing to keep in mind is the 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 bioscope is a good thing to use here because you can see Krauser more easily with it. So keep make sure to uh, equip that. And uh, yeah. So what you want to do is here is just snipe him and just wait. You'll always like pop back, even though he's moving there. He'll always go back to there as well. So once you snipe him twice, you can either wait for him to point here with the magnum. Oh, he does a bad shot. But I I honestly would actually recommend to use a a heavy grenade there as well. But I guess you want to save them too. So. But at this point here, you can uh. I would say, uh, pick him off with the shotgun. As much as possible. The shotgun is very good for him, and then watch out for when he goes up here. And then just hide behind like a pillar and then snipe him. And here's another, uh, another beetle there. The beetle will increase your health. That's why I use it there for, but you really, you really don't have to use it, like, if you don't want to. Like, if you, if you care about more having money. I recommend just saving it and selling it for 10k. And sniper ammo. Get, get the herb there. Yeah, th th thankfully you don't need to worry about the final crows of fight at the end of this. It's really just about getting through the first segments of it, which, you know, that, that first fight can be tricky as well. You remember the fight in the jungle. So this part here. There's a little cheese you can do where when you jump down, just merely hide behind this box here and Krauser can't hit you. So just go behind it. You, you don't have to shoot there if you don't want to. Oh, I would actually recommend waiting to shoot. Just go behind the box and just stand there. Just don't do anything if you want to make sure. Just in case maybe the explosion might break the box, which I don't know. I haven't seen that happen for me, but yeah. But uh, yeah, there's some sort of funny cheese there where if you go behind that box, he doesn't attack it. He just uh, will wait and then a second later he'll flash and despawn. So yeah, just shoot those and then uh, go here. And here you just want to be, you just want to take your time here. Here with a bird trap, shoot that. And I run to a certain point here and stop and wait. 
Just let him do that. And here is where I was talking about where you can save. There's a typewriter here. You got lucky. There's also a box there, but there's also a typewriter. So if you're comfortable with doing that beginning, you can uh, wait to save here just so you can do this. Uh, these parts here. Now, so when, once you get here, just wait for him to do the shot and then shoot that and then wait again. And uh, go over here, but don't, once you go over here, don't go too close to these because you'll get staggered. Go like close to them, but not too close. If you're a bit away from them, you won't get staggered then. I, uh, I, I should have actually ran like a bit more there. I would have avoided that hit. Here I'm just waiting. There's a bear trap there. Be aware of that. Yeah, yeah, just go there. And now here we're gonna start off by using the sniper and then Okay, let's fall down. I'm just gonna shoot run up to him, shoot with the magnum, kick him, I'm gonna switch to a grenade, so use that. So I recommend like memorizing the combo there or whatever. If you get that off, like you're already at a big advantage in the fight. And just, just, just burst them with the the handgun if he or the shotgun. And if he gets near the, if he gets near the the bombs like that, just shoot it. And uh, don't don't worry about. Let's say you're if you're worried about draining the shotgun ammo and all that. Like just just know the game will give you the ammo back, especially uh, with all the boxes incoming. So. That's that fight here. Yeah, look, like like I was saying, that combo we did at the beginning, I think, is a pretty good thing to start off with. Uh, this part here is tricky to get by. It's it's been discovered that if you like look, if you run to the wall on the right there and look look away from Krauser, like look at the wall as you're running, you'll actually avoid that hit. I don't, I don't know why how that why that works, but it does. We didn't uh, know of it at the time of recording this, but but uh, yeah, just stick on the right side of the wall and just hold like hold left or whatever as you're running because of the camera angle. And uh, that jump there that Krauser did there, make sure to get ready to press evade. And here, just uh, have your rocket launcher equipped before you uh, go up here. You can heal up too if you want, because you might take a bit of damage here. So, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, once again, just uh, just wait for Krauser to attack and evade. You get like a guaranteed hit then. That shot does not need to be accurate, by the way. Just just generally shoot anywhere at him, and you'll kill him. Just say uh, insta kill. Now there we go. Let's see Krozify. Just uh, grab all the boxes, get the loo. And we get outy. See it in separate ways, Krauser. So we're almost almost there now. Not much of the game left, though we do have some a uh, couple of the last most annoying parts of the game. Welcome. what you We have a segment coming in a bit where there's like you know. A lot of enemies to run by, and hoping that we don't get annihilated by, you know, Gatling guns and so on. But anyway, make sure you are uh, like repairing all there. And this part here, once you run here, just uh, run behind one of these uh, things here. You can run to the, to the right or the left one here.
This part here is kill based, so you want to get a certain amount of kills before Mike will open up the area so we can progress. I would say, um, get up to this Gatling gun as, as quickly as you can. Because you can get some extra kills. More enemies start spawning when after Mike stops talking there. I think after he says, like, let's show them what we got, that's when more enemies start spawning in. And, uh, yeah, here we can just uh, start picking, picking them off. I don't know where the, uh, the game doesn't allow you to move the thing so much there. Another thing you can do too is um, if you lose a lot of your armor here, you could uh, run back after this part's done and go repair from the merchant. get what you can here coming up here there's going to be a spot where you want to kind of run into the aim of fire at the enemies here and then just run back because they're gonna there's gonna be a guy with a rocket launcher so so once, once you run up here just uh get into their view and run back immediately so just go here and just go back just make sure they don't hit you So incoming, there's gonna be a uh, like a like a turret thing that usually you would um there you, go. you would like blow it up by doing this like long run around or whatever. But you can also use two uh, heavy grenades, so keep that in mind. I I I think uh, one heavy grenade and one regular grenade works too, so keep that in mind. But yeah, have two heavy grenades here if you can. And uh, I actually didn't do it, but after you do blow this up, to the top left right now, there will be a guy with a rocket launcher. Make sure to snipe him to make this part uh, like even way easier. It'll also, I believe, it'll also help for the segment after this. But I uh, went with a strat here where I just blew that up, and there's the guy, rock, the rocket launcher guy, aiming at me. But there's like a thing where uh, if you aim to the ground here with the scope, you can kind of prevent the enemies from attacking you. I'm not sure if this is like, I don't I, I don't know if that was actually fixed with the patch that he did, you know, with the, with the door skips, whatever. I don't know if that affected that too, but. But, uh. I'm not sure, I, I'm not sure if this is the same, this, yeah, this rock launcher guy got me here. I, wonder, I don't even know if that's the same guy, but. Yeah, if you can, like, uh, even before you climb up the ladder, I would actually say use a flash grenade and then climb up. And then just try to run to the switch and then, uh, after you uh, press the switch, use another flash grenade. And, uh, but if you do end up getting trapped like I am, try and snipe the other guy on the other side as well. The thing, the, the thing with this part is just 
just generally like expect this part to be the most bullshit thing you're doing you know don't be as surprised how chaotic it is that's just the way the segment is this is one of the things I wish they handled better because it's you know that this this part in the original game is really bad too it's very gets very chaotic and with the way the enemy design it's even worse in the remake uh, once you climb here, just immediately throw a flash grenade. And if you can help it, try not to kick these guys here. It's definitely better if you just uh, run up to the switch and um, yeah, use a flash afterwards. So flash straight away. And then here you can jump over here over this. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just hope the best that you don't get che cheaply killed or whatever. Uh, honestly, I would say for the most part, once you get by that part, it's a little bit smooth sailing. Th there is another segment that's kind of similar to this. Or in terms of like a bit chaotic, but I don't know, not probably not as bad. Here you can just uh, like we were doing before, you can just like look to the ground here and run by. The segment here is going to be body bags here. There is regenerators in a, in some of these, so be aware of that. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, you can see me aiming at them there, so avoid those ones. If you're not going near them, they won't come out, so. And uh, here, I, I think there's two regenerators in here. Might be three, but... Yeah, there's one, like, in the distance there. I'll just be aware of it. I think there's actually usually a box near the ones that... There's one, like, you know, above it or whatever. And be aware of that snake as well from that box. And uh, here, you just uh, shoot these two... Uh, the regenerators usually yeah, beside that, those two boxes, so... Just uh, shoot those boxes because you have to run. You have to like run through them. So once we do this, so just uh, turn this and face behind you here, and then just follow this uh, pathway we're doing here. Just run around. Right, yeah, straight forward. And we've only uh, one more save to make, so I recommend saving that God for welcome. just before God you do the Saddler fight. Good things on sales. Give that the care it deserves, mate. Come back any time. Now you just want to repair the knife and the armor. Here. Once you get here, just pick off the Novista doors there in the area. This guy, there's an archer there. Almost there. Yeah, looking back, I actually should have actually avoided this guy. I should have just ignored this this archer. I could have um, I could have just really, like ran and blocked his view with the the pillars, honestly, and then just picked off the does a does a Novista door that is hanging on a, a wall that you want to shoot off. Yeah, this guy here. He will like grab you as you're running up there, so. So we're just gonna, since they well took a hit, a couple of hits there, we might as well just run back and repair the armor. Yeah, this, this area can be tricky as well, there's two. There's two, uh, like, go-head guys here, so. Yeah, 
gonna just use the flash grenade and then switch to the Magnum. If you have to kill her seven, it'll be way easier to shoot him. So just uh, take him out and then go over here. Shoot the bomb there. Run through. Immediately just shoot the red barrel. And I go around the like the sort of long way here because there's another bomb there. So make sure you go around where I'm going to, just so you don't get hit by that, and then most likely an enemy will run into that. And uh, be aware of this guy here, he's gonna kick this door, he usually does that every time. And here, just uh, you can just run up to the switch. Doesn't really matter if you get hit or grabbed or whatever, I think uh, you should be fine. So if he kicks you like this, you can just uh, get into the menu as quickly as you can. Just try and run around. Yeah, and once you get there, just jump over the railing. Once you go through this door, get ready to throw a flash grenade. It's usually going to be enemies waiting for you. And uh, yeah, once you get past here now, it's pretty much smooth sailing for the rest of the game. I guess besides uh, the jet ski. Even though like the, the jet ski really is just knowing how to move you know how, how to move in it that's all it is well, once you under, once you understand like what's about to happen or what's coming like you're good to go with it Ashley. Ashley. At, at the end of the the jet ski there's like two ways you can go like the left or right um it is better to it is like yeah easier if you go if you Go to like the right side at the end of it, but we're gonna go to the left side anyway. But it's a little bit more risky because it's a it's like a tighter space. The hell? But uh, that's that's why I'm making the that's why we're making our last save just before the saddler fight because the saddler fight is is easy. It's not yeah. We just use a rocket launcher and that's it. We don't actually have to. It's basically not even a boss fight, honestly. So if you do end up failing the the jet ski, you can just you know just keep trying it over until you get it. I wish they did something where you can just like skip this or something like like maybe, maybe they should have put something in the game where once you beat the game you can skip this on a second playthrough it, it, it the game treats it as a cutscene or something So yeah, we're not gonna save here. So all of this no need to. It's basically it just a waste to save here, and unless you I don't know, don't care yeah. about. You know, let's say you do die to the jet ski, you'll have to like start from here again. But yeah, you want to make your last save uh, just before the saddler fight. Or even if you're comfortable with the rocket launcher here, there is a typewriter. Uh, just as you get to the to the jet ski, so you can do that too Sorry. if you if you're not worried about missing Look the rock launcher and saddler. <clears throat> it's actually a very easy shot because he's like you know he's big. <laughs> he's getting good at that. Right. He is a very big uh, hitbox. You sure you're okay? Oh, never been better. But uh, regardless, just 
God is designed for, you know, anyone being able to get through, uh, get through S+. Plus. Look at this place. <clears throat> yeah, this, this part here you don't need to, like, look around at the altar or anything. You can literally oh, sure immediately fine. just go to the, to the end here. Over that easy. Just go here. Just run through. And immediately just go here. And as you're running here, just shoot this uh, Novista door. Oh Th there's actually something you can get to sell, actually, by the way, in the... Just before you enter this room to the right. There's, a, I think, a large gold bar or whatever, so make sure to get that too, actually. I wasn't even aware of it when I was uh, at this point making the guides, but uh, yeah, that's another extra money you can get. But well, basically, you just want the rock launcher now, and then just whatever oh, ammo you have Ooh. will be what fine. Just for the second phase. Thank you. That's literally all you need for the rest of the game. Not my place e e even so, if somehow you don't have ammo here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the second phase of the Saddler fight is, um, it, you also don't need, like, it, if you you can't wait it out too, it just takes way longer. So if you do damage the second phase, it, you'll do it quicker, but you can't wait it out too. Anyway, just, uh, yeah, just, like, kind of aim down there and there you go. And just wait. Now, at the beginning of the second phase here, don't start shooting because Saddler actually doesn't take damage at the beginning. You want to wait for to dodge twice here. R really, you can't actually dodge. Well, once Leon says it's not me, I'm pretty sure he, he starts taking damage from then on. So just, so, but in general, if you want to make sure he's always taking damage from your shots, just wait until you dodge twice. The, the first two attacks are always two evades, so once you do that, that's when you start shooting. And you'll always, yeah. You're always outputting damage then. But he does have some sort of iframes at the beginning, so keep that in mind. And then, yeah, just shoot him with whatever you have here. Let's see, final fight. It's a huge relief that we can just do this in the Saddler fight, because the fight really is disappointing where that they put, like, you know, all the Novisadors in the fight. Okay, let's get out of here. And, uh, yeah, if you want to make the safe there too, on that type art, you can. And uh, from here, you don't even need, like, a... Does there going to be a guy that comes to the door here? You don't even need to shoot this guy as well. You can actually just run to the left wall, and like he'll just run through you or whatever. And you can just run in then. But uh, yeah, you can also shoot him if you want. So if you know I won't just run to the wall at the left side there. And go through. And, uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, immediately just run. There's nothing for you to attack here. So yeah, the last main thing to talk about is the jet ski. The jet ski is very tricky. You can like withstand like I think two hits and that's it. Or basically even one hit. I think if you get hit by like something uh, that does damage to you, it does like 60 or 70% to your health. Um, but in, in general, just take your time and not, you know... See, see the way we're getting hit by little things there? That doesn't do actually damage to you. They're kind of just... It's kind of like just designed to like mess with you a little bit. To make you start panicking. I I take a, a nasty hit incoming. Where I wasn't even panicking. It just like... I don't know. Just uh, I think I got unlucky with the timing. Yeah, that, that, it got hit by that. So if I did, that didn't happen, I would have avoided like a good like 60% damage or whatever. 
just follow along like exactly where we're going to. Yeah, once you're getting there, watch out for that. And then go like a little bit left here, straight up here. And coming up here, there's a little tight. You can see how tight this little spot is there. Uh, yeah, that's it. There we go. That's S plus achieved. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I hope I was able to help you out get the S plus. And uh, make sure to leave a like in the video. Thanks for watching. You really are the best.